All right, Shalom. First of all, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai. We want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim out here pushing his word and sincerely truth and in faith. That's right. All right. We are here once again another Saturday, one week closer to the kingdom of heaven coming into fruition. Right. All right. And this kingdom, which is a wicked ass kingdom, okay, the, the, the last kingdom of the statue that uh, uh, Daniel saw, that the king saw rather in his dream that Daniel deciphered, okay, we have the, the foot. All right, we have the toes, where the um, toes was mixed with iron and, and clay. All right, so this place is falling. All right, but I want to go into the fact that you know Esau is coming down with that sword. All right, and we're gonna need deliverance from Esau. All right, and the only one that's gonna be able to deliver you in these times is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, because he is the one that's bringing the sword against you. That's the, the, the Edomites are the most high sword, okay? And he welds it with whichever way he wants to weld it, okay? Go ahead, Ark. It's, uh, Psalms 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually they are gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. It's a lot. Yeah, like this is going into, man. We have to pray consistently, constantly, to come into that time of Jacob's trouble, which we always talk about. He says, deliver me from the evil man. Who's the evil man on the planet? The wicked of the, uh, the planet Earth. The sons of the wicked. The so-called white man, Esau, man. Yep. And he's coming with violence. He said, deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. That's all this man knows is violence. All he, he, he didn't fear blood. No, he didn't hate blood. So blood is gonna pursue him, Lord will, man. And Lord will with those men that's gonna carry out the judgment of Yahweh Shah on the planet Earth. He says, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. They're constantly, continually on their bed thinking of how they can destroy us, take, it, take us down, how they can uh, take peace from the earth. That's how he was set up. It's constantly on their minds all the time. And we have to be in that spirit where, yo, we need Yahweh Shah to protect us out here. That's all we got. You see how we shine, man. We have no power out here, man. We have no power in our might. We never did, man. Right. It's all about faith in you, how we shine, man. That's he's the only one who's gonna preserve us in that day. That's it on that. Yeah, and Yahweh Shai, the brother said, Yahweh Shai is all we got. Come back to that is Yahweh Shai is all we need. Okay? It's all we need, man. We don't need anything else. Okay? The trust and faith. In our power, which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and Yeshua and all of that madness, all right? We're calling on the one true God in his true name. That's right. Okay? His true name. That's the his only name. name. There you go. He's going to hear, man. You can't push Christ. You can't push uh, Yeshua and all these other, these other false names out here. You have to teach the true name. How else can our people call upon the name? You have guys out here that are pushing madness, pushing false narratives, pushing false names out here, man. You know, these false apostles out here, man. And when that time of evil comes, man, those people are gonna get caught up in that destruction. There's but one name. Can you get that one? There's but one name, man. Okay? Delivered, man. And, and people, you know, you got these groups out here taking the Lord's name for granted. Taking his name lightly, you know, it's just if it's a light thing that, that you can call him whatever you want to call him, just as long as he knows you're calling him. Okay, but when you when you learn the true name, why would you go back to calling him the name when you were so-called right. in bondage in your mind? Okay? Why would you go back? You got it, brother? Awesome. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended? up into he heaven yep. or descending who hath gathered the wind in his fist who hath bound the waters in a garment who hath established all the ends of the earth 
what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? Exactly, because if it was that easy, you know, if that wouldn't be in the scriptures. Okay, because Jesus and God is all the way through the scriptures, man. All right? And that's not the name of the Lord. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? There are no O's, no E's, right. no U's. Okay? In the Hebrew, there's only A and I as vowel points. Right. Okay? And the Lord, he wasn't a Greek. Okay? He didn't have a Greek name, Iesos or Jesus, which is a made-up word, okay? He didn't have that type of name. He had a Hebrew name. Why? Because he was a Hebrew, okay? Got that, that other one? Yeah. It's, uh, you got it, brother. Yeah. It's uh, Zechariah 14 and 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and that day shall there be one Lord, and his name one. His name one. And there is but one name by which we must be saved, okay? And that name is Yahweh Shai. His you. name his name means to deliver or to save, okay? Go ahead, brother. So it's Acts 4, 12. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, 11. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none or none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. They said there is no salvation in any other. Any other what? Any other name. There is no salvation in the name of Jesus, man, or Christ, or God, or Yahweh, okay, or Yeshua, or Yahshua, you know, whatever you want to call him, Adonai. Okay, all these names, man. There's but one name, okay? And we're standing stiffly on that principle God. that there's but one name, okay? You can't tell us anything else, okay? You can't, you can't come with a doctrine saying, oh yeah, it's okay if you call him that because he knows your heart, you know? And what does it say about the heart? The heart is the most deceitful thing, man, okay? Let me start from 10. Go ahead. Acts 4 and 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai mm. of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold. This is the stone which is set at naught of the builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Exactly. We are going to be saved by the name of Yahweh Bahashem, in the name of Yahweh Shah. okay? Not no Jesus, man, okay? Not no image of a, of a Edomite with long stringy hair and blue eyes. That's not our Savior, man. Right. Our Savior didn't look like that. His description, and if you would look at the description in... Um, Revelation 1 and in Daniel in, in uh, Daniel chapter 7, okay, you will see our Lord looks like a so-called Negro, okay? Yeah. That's how he was able to deceive this, this wicked man, this violent man, the deceiver. That's how we deceived our people. That's how we deceived all nations around the planet, by putting up that image of, uh, he spoke of uh, uh, Jesus Christ, which is uh, Serapis Christos or uh, Cesare Bogier. You know, that was his portrait. And they put him up as, as uh, the savior. And all of our people bought, bought into it, that Christianity yeah. and all that. But when that violent man comes in, when that enemy comes in like a flood, man, you can't call on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ ain't gonna be there to save you, man. How about you have a shy, man? The true name, so which we must be saved. That's what's gonna save us in that day. You know? And the names were so powerful that when Yahweh, um, Yahweh Shai's disciples were teaching the, the scribes and Pharisees. They put apostles in jail, man. And they beat them and they told them, look, preach not in this name. Because the power the name holds, man. The Lord told his disciples, he said, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
So that name is the activator. Exactly. Right. They tried to, uh, you know, harass, like his brother said, throw him in prison. Actually, let me read the, the verse, verse 13 of, and back in Acts. Back in Acts 4 and 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shai. So they were perceived as ignorant men, you know, uh, what did it say? Unlearned. Unlearned, ignorant yeah. men, thrown in prison, put to death, for teaching in that true name, man. And they're going to do that again, all over again, man. Because we're in the, the acts all over again, the reincarnation. Right. You know? And you got, you got people out there talking about us, that we're unlearned men, okay, out on the street teaching, and we haven't been taught by anybody. We've right. been taught by the Holy Spirit, man. That's the best teacher of all, man. You, you can't get no higher than the knowledge that we have, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. There's oh. no greater knowledge on the earth, okay? There were men. There were men that were set up by the Holy Spirit to teach us, man. The apostles of Great Millstone, and we also learned through the Spirit, you know? And the scripture says, put them in remembrance as you once do this. We once had the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah. We once knew Hebrew, we wrote it, we spoke it. How could you not have the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son in Hebrew? You know, if you go back to the the history, the Jewish coins, they had Paleo Hebrew on there. In Masada, they went to the caves and found dishes and art of Paleo Hebrew, man. There's no O, there's no none of that. You and uh, uh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, none of that, man. Yahweh, there's no E. Paleo Hebrew, man. Exactly. And that's how we know that this devil's a liar. We have to know the truth in order to teach a lie. Like the brother was saying, he knows the Paleo Hebrew. The Paleo Hebrew goes back centuries, man. The beginning of time. You know? So there was documentation of the Paleo Hebrew. And Esau knows that. He studies all that stuff. Exactly. So that's why they changed it. That's right. Okay, yeah. they changed the Shah to a Va. Okay? Now instead of the Tetragrammaton, the Y uh H W H Okay, they put Y H V H. Right. Okay. This is the devil, man. Coming in trying to change things. And if it was uh if, if it was very if it was if it was, like, if it was possible, he would deceive the very elect, but it's not possible, man. It's not possible to deceive the ones that the Lord has chosen from the beginning, man, to bring out his word in the end times. Okay, to bring out the truth about everything. Okay, to bring out the truth about the image. Okay, they say an image is worth what? A thousand words. Okay, so when they put out an image of Cesare Borgier, Cesare down there anywhere? We don't have him on. When they put up Cesare Borgier, okay, Jesus, that name comes with an image. Okay? And they say what? If you've seen the son, you've seen the father. So if you see the son looking like an Edomite, then Evidently, then the father is an Edomite, which is untrue. All right. I got to go ahead. Let, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. So Malachi 1 and 14, but this is the reason why they had to switch up from the Hebrew to the Yiddish, and why they push madness. It's uh, Malachi 1 and 14. But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male and voweth and sacrifices unto the Lord a corrupt thing, for I am a great king saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. His name is dreadful among the heathen, all right? When I first came into the truth, I was in a store over there on Crenshaw in like 54, and uh, walked in the store, and, and the guy behind the counter, he was a, 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 he was a, a small hat, and he had his little small hat on. I walked through the door, when I walked through the door, he gonna say assalamu alaikum to me. So I got what I had to get and I went back up there and I asked him, I said, why, why did you say, uh, why you say assalamu alaikum to me? Why don't you say shalom? Okay, how come you didn't say shalom? Oh, shalom. I was like, oh, so you a J-E-W? He's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, okay. I was like, so what's the name of the most high? Oh, no, 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 I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, you, you got the Torah, he was, he was, he had this Torah on the side and I was like um, alright then and I said let me see your Torah 
right? So I went and found the name of Yahweh in the Torah, and I pointed it out to him. I was like, what's that word? He was like, oh, no, 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 no. You, it's un unpronounceable. You can't, you can't read that word. No. His eyes opened up big. He got scared because the name is dreadful. And I told him, I said, it's written, isn't it? It's written down. Why, why isn't, why can't you pronounce it if it's written? Okay, everything else is pronounceable. Why can't you pronounce that? Because it's not your, it's not your power. The power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is only for the Israelites, man. Get that through your, through your thick skull. All you two, two thirds that want to save everybody. Okay? That want to put your power and use your power to, and give it to other people that has your best, none of your best interests in hand. The only thing they want to do to you is kill you yeah. and, and make you remain a slave. Okay? And that was the whole purpose. You know, to be a, to be a, a weapon, you know, it's, I just read it. Uh, so Psalms uh, 17, 13, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Exactly. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. The Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai created he created the wicked even for the day of evil, okay? He created them to be wicked. He didn't create them to be wicked for a little while and then all of a sudden one day they're going to get righteous, okay? And then they're going to be able to join the congregation, all right? It's, it's not written like that. They were created to be wicked inside and out, through and through, okay? Through and through for the day, get that one, for the day of evil. Okay. Is that a, a Proverbs or Psalms? Proverbs. Proverbs 20 and 16. 16, 16 and 4? Okay. Uh, go ahead, Oz. So, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. The Lord made all things for himself, man. Everything that you see belongs to the Lord, man. Go ahead, Oz. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the wicked for the day of evil. There's going to be a day like no other, like it speaks of in Daniel, okay, and, and, and in, in uh, Jeremiah, okay? That day of evil, which the Lord created this damn devil to, to be able to uh, bring it out, man, to be able to accomplish that day, okay? He's not going to accomplish that day by being just a little wicked. He's going to accomplish that day by being extremely wicked, man. Okay? So wicked that there's a day coming that there's going to be like none other. Yes, and there's been, there's been a slot, bro. There's been so much trauma and destruction on this earth, you can't hardly fathom it getting worse than that. Yeah, it says that they should be like madmen, sparing none. Exactly. Uh. Sparing none. Madmen. You know what a madman is. He's coming through. He has an agenda to destroy. You can't, you can't reason with him. You can't say, oh, brother, calm down. You can't do none of that, man. When he's in that mode, when the Lord puts that, puts that final spirit of wickedness on Esau, it's going to be all she wrote. Yeah. Only the archangel Michael is going to be able to stop it, man. Yeah. Okay? John, you said that. He's sparing none, you know, he says sparing none to those that fear the Lord. So there's a certain group of people whom he's going to come after, man. You know, the ones that fear the Lord, the ones that have that, 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 that zeal. Exactly. Whether they're through, be, through in righteousness and truth or in fakeness, you know, which is Christianity. So that's the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, we're the only ones that have that zeal for, for, the, for the Father, man, for the truth, exactly. for the Bible, you know. Yeah, you got you got you got the the small the small has claiming to be the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom, They claim to be the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but you never seen them bring out any scriptures. They don't bring out any prophecies. Only thing they do is say they're the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay? They only they only 
praise the, they don't praise the Lord, okay? They only say that they are the people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And they are the farthest people from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They are the people of the Lord's curse. Yeah. Okay? I, I believe it's in uh, Psalms 10 where it says uh, that the Lord is not in his, in his thoughts, man. He's you know, not he, in his thoughts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. He doesn't know what it's like to be righteous because he was created for wickedness. That's right. That's right. He was slated for wickedness, man. He was created for weak, wickedness. Okay? It's just like you can't turn a, a cotton plant into a rubber tree, okay? You, a, a cotton plant gonna be a cotton plant. When you plant the cotton seed, it's gonna grow another cotton plant, okay? It's not gonna grow up a rubber tree plant, man, okay? It's gonna plant whatever it is that was planted, it's gonna grow it up, okay? Hey, in Revelations, it, it talks about when the Lord has judged them, they repented not. Exactly. Even when Yahweh Shai comes back and brings the judgment, like a, a man would, a, anybody, a normal human will repent. Right. But this devil ain't gonna repent. It says when the when the evil are shown righteousness, they what, what high go? When they, oh, when they, they show favor. Yeah. Can you get that? Can you get that? I'm not sure. It's that Psalms what 51. Wicked is shown favor, he will not learn righteousness. Right, he will not, because it's not in him to learn righteousness, to learn righteousness, man. Right. His whole, his whole existence is for wickedness. When has he ever did anything righteous on the earth? Okay? He's been so wicked to the earth, it says the trees are going to rejoice, man. I got you. Go ahead, I. Right? Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. He will not learn righteousness, man, because it's not in him. Right. Just like with Cain, I was favored being shown. But he he didn't he didn't want to learn righteousness. He did not want to offer up the right sacrifice, knowing right. he knew what he, he knew what to offer, but he didn't want to do it. Which is why he was wicked. Even from even from the beginning, okay? Exactly. Hey, the Lord told him that sin lies with him. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. that's that's how you are, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can't help it but be yourself. Yeah. He spoke about even when uh, the Lord returns, he's not going to repent. He's going he's gonna to want to fight against it. Hey, yeah. we just yeah. talked yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 I got a uh, reset. Go ahead, all right. This is uh, Malachi chapter 1, verse yeah, four, uh, 4. It says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. The point is, Edom, Edomites, which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, he's known as the border of wickedness. Okay? He's the son of the wicked. All right, Job 9, 24, it says what? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. When you ask people who runs the earth, everyone's going to say the so-called white man. This is the white man's world. Right. Because the Lord gave Esau, Edom, a period of time to rule. Right. Okay, and how is he ruling? He's not ruling the earth in righteousness. In his rulership, he's turning everything upside down. He's messing up these people's minds to where what is good, people see it as evil. All right? What is evil to the mo what is evil to the Most High? What the Most High looks at as an abomination, as wicked. The people see it as good. Right. You know, just like what we're doing up here, they will call us a hate group. Yep. Okay. And this is this is the most righteous thing you could do on the earth, man. Is prophesy the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, y'all's Creator, man. Okay. The Creator of everything, man. Okay. Everything. Right. The one worthy of all praise is glory and honor, man. But he will call that wickedness, man. Okay, because why? Because he is the wicked. Shalom, Shalom, brothers. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got the uh, Psalm 17. Go ahead. Uh, Psalm 17 and verses 8. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Exactly. Keep us. The Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and you other of our nations, 
that's scattered into the other nations, the Israelite foreigners, keep us as the apple of thine eye, man. Okay? And it says, um, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings, man. Okay, thy power. Okay? Hide me from what? Where we need to be hid from? From this devil, man. Give Revelation uh, uh, 12 and 12 right quick. Okay? We need to be hid from this damn devil, man. All right? Because he has the whole world, he has the whole world tricked like he's some righteous man. And he's the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof with his own face, putting his face up as Jesus Christ, the Savior. And he's no Savior. All right? All right? He's the deceiver. Go ahead, all right? Yes. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Yep, woe to you. Go ahead. For the devil, for the devil has come down with great it's lock here. The devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Exactly. That wrath is coming every day. It's getting harder and harder. Stronger and stronger, man. He's coming. He's is is what do they call gradualism. Okay? Pretty soon it's gonna be like 2020. One day you're gonna wake up and it's all hell's gonna be the bro broke loose, man. Yeah, he really ain't even came with no rap yet. Huh? I say yeah, he really ain't came with no rap yet. Right. But we, we ain't seen shit. Yeah. It's just little things happen here and there, but yep. it ain't popped off. It ain't really popped off. But one day it's gonna be like 2020. You're gonna wake up and it's gonna be totally different, man. Okay? Yeah. 2020, when 2020 came, everything changed. Okay? You couldn't go in a store. Okay? We was hoping back then that that was it. Like the Lord was gonna rush this thing, man. Okay? We are four years later. Four years later. But we still hold faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. Okay? Because we see the signs of his coming. Okay, but he said, but the end is not yet. Okay? Beginning of sorrows. It's the beginning of sorrows, man. And now these wars are jumping off. Okay? You got civil war happening. About to happen. Military age men flooding the country. Exactly. There's a reason for that. They got the borders open. There's a reason for that. Okay? It's a reason. And the reason is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's his prophecy is coming to pass, man, as in destroying this place from the inside out, okay? We got these, uh, these damn devils talking about a disease X. Yep. You know, so the scriptures speak of pestilence, plagues. Yep. So we can see something crucial this year, man. Lord's will, man. Lord's will. We'll see, man. Yep. The apostle coined this year what? The hopeful year of Jacob's troubles, okay? We need to go through Jacob's troubles, man. It needs to happen. Because that they, these prophecies has to happen before our kingdom can come into fruition, man. All right? Uh, Luke 1 and 71, and that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And our enemies first starts with Eve by Eve, okay? And then the other nations, like it tells you up in Psalms 83, man. Yeah. Okay? This, this, the scriptures is, is dead on. It's dead on. Okay? You'll be a fool not to, to, to believe in the scriptures, man. Okay? What the scriptures say? In Amos, for what if some did not believe? Yeah. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The most high forbid, man. All right? They didn't believe at the time of no one. Exactly. You know, they didn't stop nothing. That's the point. They didn't believe. <laughs> so That's judgment it. had to come. Mm. Yeah, the same in this time. The faithful is going to die in their own faithfulness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let not the incredulity of them trouble you. Right. So we don't care if you believe it or not. Yep. At the end of the day, we don't. We're up here to wipe the blood off our hands, man. Yep. It says, uh, what? Let the righteous be righteous still. Let the wicked be wicked still. Okay, Parap roughly paraphrasing. And the scripture says, them that should be saved shall be saved by their faith 
and by their works which they have believed. So, Amen. hey man, our belief is going to save us. You know? Well, I'm uh, Second Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Yeah, you led to the uh, as a flock to the slaughter. Okay, you were led as a flock to the slaughter in 2023. You trusted that damn devil, man. And a lot of you are in the spirit world right now. You're in the spirit world. Why? You mean 2021? But that was 2021 with the JAB. Yeah, the 2021. Operation Warp Speed. Yeah, Operation <laughs> Operation Warp Speed. Okay. That's what, uh, that's what uh, Trump, Donald Trump had going before he got out of office. Before Biden came in, and Biden came in, he wasn't playing no fucking games with your people, man. You know? He said our patience is running thin. Exactly. He came in very austere. Very. <laughs> now he a joke, but when he came in, it, w it was no joke. He yep. pushed that juice, man. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And it, would, it was threatening you. Okay? They put threats on you. They say you're going to lose your job. My job. My job. But I can't lose my job. Okay? That's all I heard. That wasn't even a real squeeze. Though. That wasn't no squeeze. I was, I was, I was, I was a little, a little, not okay. even. Okay? That was a little, a little pressure, like a dust of it. That's just like popping a pimple. Yeah. As opposed to popping your head. That was Rock pressure. Fire. That was pressure if you was in this world. Oh yeah. yeah. That was some pressure. Yeah. We're, we're not in this world, so we don't we already know the we see through the bullshit. But if you in this world, you're only in your little bubble and then shit gets shut down and you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Oh yeah, that Wait, was pressure. Y'all y'all remember the other guy that came up here and you asked when y'all asked, Oh, did you take the shit? He said, Yeah, I took it like I was gonna lose my job, you know. Right. Yep. If I did it. Right. Yeah. You know. So yeah. people of this world, they have no faith. They, they're they're sold on faith, and their trust is what they can see, which is this world. Right. That's a feminist. That's why they took it. Yeah. That's a feminist uh, standpoint, man. A feminine stance. Yeah. You know, not having any faith. Well, All right. And that's no what faith. they're pushing yeah. in this world, especially upon you Israelite men. Okay, they're pushing that feminist spirit on you. Okay? They want you to be as a woman. They don't want you to speak out as a man. If you if you talk like a man to, on your job to a woman, okay, she's calling HR. Oh, he he says he was he was loud, his voice was loud at me, and I I was afraid. Now you're in the office. Okay, now you gotta walk on eggshells. Okay? Yeah. Men and women shouldn't be working together in the anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Most of you women got men and yeah. you there with, with, with another man working. as your boss. Okay, he's telling you what to do, and you under the desk like Monica Lewinsky. Okay? Yeah. They got these work, work husbands, yeah. That's what they call them, hey, man. Work husbands. Oh my work husband. And they saying it all on the internet. And not only that, women are fucking dramatic. For no what? Reason. Say it again? They're dramatic. They bring drama. Oh. Unnecessary so, drama, bro. Yeah. 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 That's what, you know, woman's nature, you know? And scripture says, in that day, Egypt shall be like unto women. You know, minus faith. Yep. Done. No faith, man. No faith in Yahweh, Shimi, Yahweh, Shai. Why? Because they're leaning upon their own understanding, man. They're leaning upon the things that they... The little bit of, 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 of unknowledge that they heard about in the church, okay? Everybody can be saved, okay? John 3 and 16. God loved the whole world. He didn't just die. He didn't just die for y'all. How he died for just, how the Lord going to do that? How he going to be just for one people, okay? That's like somebody said, everybody can win the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> That's impossible. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but you thought Biden was tough. Don't, hey, don't be surprised if Trump, you know, switches up on you, man. He really starts to push that chip oh, yeah. when he gets back in there. Because he wasn't supposed to run. You know, they say that Trump, you know, the elites didn't want him to run. That's why they're putting all these fake RICO charges on him and punishing him. But he knows everybody loves Trump, so people are going to vote for him. So don't be surprised, you know, if he can try to get out of prison by pushing that chip, you know. But hey. 
But uh, back to uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before mm. and will destroy all the land thereof. The brother had mentioned the plagues and the pestilences. So the Most High is going to bring all those plagues back from Egypt, you know? The darkness, the apparitions, you know? The locusts. Who knows what else the Most High has cooked up, man? Right. It's about to be a time of terror. Right. Like no other, the Lord is about to terrorize you people, man. Because, first of all, you're, you're proud against the Lord. You're proud against his men. You're proud against his doctrine, okay? He's telling you the truth, but you want to believe a lie still, okay? You want to still believe in, in, in the uh, so-called white man, all right? You want to trust in Egypt, the shadow of Egypt, okay? You think that somehow... The things in this world is going to save you from the time that's coming, okay? Where there's not going to be any saving you from the time that's coming if you're not written in the book of life, man. You're going to be done out here. Go ahead, I. It's uh, Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send them against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? Mm. All right, you want to break it down, brother? I'll Go break ahead, it down. Bro. Break it down, bro. All right, it says, O oh, oh, Syrian, the rod of my anger. You know, the mind of Syrian is the Edomites. All right, the Lord, as we, I don't know if we read it, but Psalm 17, chapter, tell you that the sword of the Lord is the yep, wicked. We read that. Right? O oh, Syrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. So everything that, that, that Esau Edom is doing, everything that he's planning, that's the wrath of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Okay, the fact that the, 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 the motto or the slogan for the NWO is no mercy, hey, that's going to be the wrath of the Lord. Yeah. Just like when the Lord brought that flood, once that first raindrop started going down, that ark was closed, that's that. It's the doors of mercy closed. The doors of mercy is closed. So when, that, when the Lord, as this man, really come down with that wrath, it's a wrath for you wicked Israelites. It says, I will send him against a hypocritical nation. So it's the Lord sending the, uh, the damn devil, man. It's the Lord sending the white man upon you, okay? Because you're a bunch of hypocrites. You claim you love the Lord, but your actions say otherwise. But what do they say? Actions speak louder than words. There you go. So you're only fooling yourself. It says, I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the, the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? So the Lord uh, is going to get you, Jakes, before he blesses you with the kingdom. You should know after death by pain. Mm. All right? And that's 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 the that's the decision you made. Because the Lord been speaking for over 50 years. All right? The Lord Plainly. been speaking over, just on, on the YouTube, you know, that's when this thing really been begin to spread throughout the globe. Going back to 07, what is that? That's how many years? Uh, 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 what is that? How many years is that? That's seven years? Going on seven years, man? Damn. Seven years. I mean, 17 years. 17 years, man. Wait, is it seven? Am I tripping? It's 2024, so. 2007. 17, that's 10. Till now, that's what? 17 years, right? That's a whole person. That's a whole growing up. That's 17 years of the world really been going out on a, on a high level. Yeah. Especially the last 10. So you, Jake, you ain't got no goddamn excuse. None. None. The word is going out, but the, what the scripture said, uh, it, the, the Lord said, you would have none of my counsel. You don't want my counsel. You don't want the word of the Lord, okay? You want to hear smooth things preached unto you as if what's really coming is not coming, okay? What, what sense does that make if a flood is coming, a flash flood is coming, like that flash flood that caught that bar, okay, oh, yeah. and that girl was standing in front of the door, okay? 
Instead of me telling you a flash flood is coming, I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you, yo, man, next week, you come to this bar right here, something good gonna happen to you in about 10 minutes or something like that, maybe. You know, come in 10 minutes to something good gonna happen, knowing that a flash flood is going about to come and destroy the place, <laughs> okay? But that's what our people wanna hear. They wanna hear the smooth things. They don't wanna hear reality. They want to constantly be on this fake crap, yeah. like these women with this face mask on and this head, this hair hat, okay, this face mask on that they put on, painting their face, looking like somebody totally different, Yeah. okay? <laughs> what do you think that uh, Tommy Sotomayor say, uh, the Negro pins, you know? Because they have that self-hatred, man. Exactly. Our women have that self-hatred. They want to sew in another person's hair, blonde hair, to look like another nation, you know, to attract the men of those other nations. They don't give a fuck about you black men, you know. They hate themselves, man. Yep. That's part of the curses, you know, yep. to have an evil eye towards their husbands and their sons, man. Yep. Same thing with the men. So we're fucked up out here, man. Yep, and their daughters. They hate their daughters, too. They probably even hate their daughters even worse because they be in competition with their daughters, man. Yeah. Sleeping with their damn daughters, uh, 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 boyfriends or husbands. Yeah. Okay, totally wicked, man. All right. I got a piece of Go ahead, Art. Second Ezra chapter 1, verse 25. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. Mm. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Yeah, you're going to be calling on the Lord in that day. Okay, hoping that he have mercy upon you. But what did he say? I shall have no mercy upon you. The Lord is not going to have mercy upon you because when he called, you did not answer. You didn't get, you didn't pick up the phone. You seen the, you seen the call ID and said, oh, it's your how about Shimmy Awa Shai. Don't pick that up. Okay. All right. All right. And then you're going to be calling him and he going to block your number. Block that. Straight to voicemail. Okay, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. Okay? What, whensoever you shall call upon me, I will not hear you. Mm. For you have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Hey, that's our people. They're quick to kill each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. You know? when, when a little skinny uh, 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 Edomite police come in the neighborhood by itself, okay? They all running like roaches when the lights come on, okay? Scared. Scared of their enemy, but their brother, they'll, they'll do anything, okay? Uh, I, got, I got something. Real quick. Go ahead. Second Ezra 9 and 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Mm -hmm. And they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments, like you were saying earlier. Hey, they're gonna be our people are gonna be in pitiful case. They're gonna be looking for mercy. They're gonna be looking for the Lord to show mercy, but the Lord is not gonna have mercy upon the wicked of our people, man. Because right now, as 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 the days go by, as as we right, right right now we're in so-called peace, right? This is the time to seek the Lord. Yeah. What does the scripture say, in Amos? Seek the Lord that ye may live. Okay, and a lot of you people are not seeking the Lord, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Yeah, right. You go too. A lot of you, a lot of our people are not seeking the Lord. You're seeking your own desires, you fulfill your own wicked lusts. You're seeking your own, you're seeking your own goals, your own dreams to make it in this world. Right. Okay. You're not seeking the how about shimmy how shot, man. Yeah. Okay. America is the Titanic. Right. It's, America is the Titanic. Y'all all are on it. It's, it's about to get destroyed. It's going under. Right. Okay. That flood is coming. Okay. The flood of the white, so-called white man, is coming. And then the flood of the, the, the ICBM missiles, man, is coming. Okay? So this place is done. That's right. You should know our people trust in this devil. Look what this devil's doing. Look at them chemtrails. Pull up the Right, right there's better. Right. Next you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All makes sense, right? I got to breathe that in, man. It's barium oxide over there, yeah. man. All kinds of chemicals, man. Bullshit. Yeah. It's coming down the earth that we're breathing in, that we're drinking, that we're eating because of that. 
But you want to trust in this man. Yeah. Oh, they see it in the sky. It's for rain. Get the hell out of here. Stop making excuses for the devil. The perfect X, man. Come on, man. Exactly. A, a few of them. One, two, three. They're Xing you people out, man. All right? I bet where they live, I bet they don't be no. doing that mess over there where they living. Okay? It's a it's a it's a, 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 a global it's a global campaign. All right? A global agenda. This happens all over the all over the earth, man. Yeah, just like the C nineteen was a global agenda. Exactly. The whole planet was on code with it. All all the countries shut down, man. Yep. Yep, the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. And what does the wicked do? Wickedness, man. This is pure wickedness, man. Spraying people like roaches. Okay? From the sky. And nobody, you, you ask them where, where does it come from? Nobody knows. Nobody knows about who, who's driving these planes. Nobody knows where the chemicals, chemicals are coming from. Okay? We know. Yeah, the dudes that deploy this, this, the pilots, they wear, they wear masks. They have to. They wear gas masks. Cause them deadly chemicals. I got a quick one. Isaiah 30 and 2, that warp to go down to into Egypt and have did not. You, stop the one. one. Yeah, did you? Yeah, Start at one. Oh, I wanted to get to the point, but yeah, hey. Just go ahead. Woe to the rebellious children, yep. said the Lord. Yep, you rebellious Israelites. Y'all rebellious, man, okay? You don't want to humble yourself before the presence of the Lord, you know? You humble humble yourself willingly, because you're going to humble yourself, whether it be willingly or unwillingly, or the Lord is going to humble you, okay? You will get humble. And it says, um, that take counsel, but not of me. No, yeah, you take counsel, you take counsel in everybody but the Heavenly Father, the men who the Heavenly Father set up to counsel your butt, okay? Your trifling ass, okay? Believing in everybody, want to save your damn uh, uh, oppressor. Been oppressing you for thousands of years, and you still believing in him, as if one day he gonna wake up and you know what? I've just been doing them so wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't even do that no more. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Okay, from now on, I'm treating y'all like y'all human. Now you, you a whole man, you're not three-fifths of a man. They wrote that, that you're not even a whole man. Yeah. They wrote it down, okay? In their cost constitution, all right? Go ahead. That cover with, so like, yes, sir. I'm sorry, bro. That cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Yep. You, add, you add in sin to sin. Okay, we tell you the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, who, who your power is. Okay, we tell you your nationality, and you say, no, I ain't no damn Hebrew, I ain't that. I ain't no Israelite. I'm an American. I'm an American. Okay? Holding that mess proud, being proud. I'm African American. Okay? Dumbass. Hey, Charles White, he was like, I ain't no Hebrew, I'm a nigga. See? <laughs> yeah. You want to be he a nigga. He is a nigga. So yeah. the Lord said he's going to, in, in your, um, he's going to, he's going to uh, punish you in your, in your state that you're in, man. Yeah. Okay? You want to be a nigga? Be a nigga. <laughs> the Lord's going to punish niggas. That's right. He's yeah. not coming to save niggas. Lord All right? hates niggas. He hates the niggas. Okay? You say people are proud to be an American. Got these all these different terms that Jake want to come up with. Uh, Adol, American descendant of slaves. I mean, I'm not a descendant of a slave, man. I'm a descendant of gods, man. Exactly. Okay. I'm talking about a descendant of slaves, man. Exactly. It's about punishment. When they, when they brought us over here on those ships, they didn't bring slaves over here. They brought scientists. Ooh, yeah, I like they brought that. carpenters. They brought doctors, they brought lawyers, they brought a whole civilization of people, man, yeah. that that created civilization, 
okay? That's who they brought over here. They didn't bring no ignorant swinging from trees, right. bamboo ass niggas over here. Just one segment that. of our vast history, man. That's just a few tribes, man. Yeah, bro. It's only three tribes out of 12. Exactly, you know? Think about it, for us to dwell in the land of Israel, we had, we had to know farming, we had to know, um, um, we're people. Yeah. What do you mean? We're, we're just like everyone else. We, we do the same thing everybody else do. We have we a whole it. righteously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole, we have a whole society. Yeah, man. Okay, just like um, just like uh, before integration. Okay, we had everything and better than the so-called whites. Okay, we had everything that they had. We had it. Theaters, bus companies. Taxi companies, okay? Ice houses, right? Okay, restaurants, freeways, free everything, man. Okay, lawyers, banks, okay, grocery stores. Everything they had, we had it and better. But our people wanted to integrate, wanted to socialize with them. The people that hate you, you want to sit up and, and sacrifice yourself. Oh, it's for the greater good so we all can get along. They don't want to get along with you. Yeah. And you want to constantly get along with them. Uh, if they actually set up laws to keep your jakes out of the suburbs, man. Exactly. I forgot the name of the, out here in California, man. They set up laws to keep you out, man. They didn't want you up there. Damn, Damn redlining. Redlining, all that, man. Okay. Redlining uh, sundown towns. Sundown towns is all over America. Okay. Not just in the south. Yeah. So here. Still here. Yeah. Still here. Yes. They still have some downtown. That Texas. Oh. Okay. Because all so the north, we got some downtowns everywhere. It's locked. This place is not the, the, the land of the free in the home. It's the land of the free so-called Edomites in the home of the slaves. Oh. Okay? Not no damn brave. All right? I like to say America, the home of the freaks, <laughs> the land of the gays. Oh. That too, okay? This place is an abomination to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the one who you call God in Jesus Christ, okay? It's an abomination, okay? It's, 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 um, it's, it's fornication. It's being spread across the whole earth, man, all right? The other nations, they start to do, they're starting to do the same things that America does. Yeah. Okay? Pushing this wicked agenda. And if you don't want to get with it, okay, they're going to come and bomb you. Yeah. All right? They see it necessary for everybody to, in the whole world, to accept the rainbow. Okay? Yeah, like uh, with the World Cup that recently just passed, well, they had it uh, in Qatar. You had, you had these proud ass Americans knowing that they don't accept that shit. They said, don't bring none of that shit over here. Okay, they, they did it anyway. So your ass ended up getting locked up in the, in, in, the, in the prison, man. You know, you had that one reporter that brought the rainbow flag and got locked up, and then uh, a few weeks later, he ended up dying. Good. <laughs> you know, trying to push that shit. Yep. Push that agenda uh, uh, on, on, on these nations. Exactly. Some of you nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. But some of you nations then didn't go for it, okay? But this is this is this is Satan. This is the devil, man, at work, okay? And our people still want to call him good, regardless of anything that he does. All right? You find you can find the silver lining in it. All right? And it says that walk to go down into Egypt yep. and have not asked at my mouth. Have not asked at Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's mouth. Everybody should have been here like, hey, um, guys, y'all think I should take the... Right. They should have been inquiring at right. the Lord's mouth. Right. But what did they do? They went and go trust the government. There you go. Instead of coming to the prophets, man, if something going on, our people are supposed to come to us, ask us, like, hey, what do we do about this? Right. How do we get around that, you know? Exactly. If the MOTB comes. But nah, man, they're they, they gonna trust Esau and just go ahead and blindly do it. Yep. 
and, and the people, these these churches, these 501c3 charter uh, 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 harlot houses, they're no help to you, okay? Because look at look at the, the big boy, okay? TD, look at him. Look at his congregation now. It's non-existent, okay? But he had about 20 people up in there in, in a mega church, 20 people, okay? Because the Lord is bringing all this madness to an end. He's exposing all this stuff, man. Exposing your wickedness, exposing the lies, okay? That, you, that you've been perpetrating this whole time. That, that is nothing good for our people, man. Nothing good for the elect. Because that's all the only people we're out here for. It's the elect of these people, man. The rest of you, you two-thirds, we, we'll care about you in the kingdom. Right now, forget you, man. Yeah, it says, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Yeah, your, the strength of Pharaoh is your shame. Now you got to go before the Most High and, and, and explain why you took the jump shot. No, took the Morocco. Yeah, I'm talking about oh, the, the old ones. Oh, fuck. The ones okay, the, the ones that's already gone. Give me the Good. And the scripture say, never trust thine enemy. Never. See, but you got Jake, some Jake's waking up to it. Yep. So it's going to take a crisis to happen to really put that fear in you to where it's going to break you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some type of crisis out here to uh, break you people, man. Yep. Make you turn to Esau. And what what the, what the, the great General Johanna say when the thing came out? Oh, I know we ain't supposed to, you know, that, that he, the, he, the devil been wicked to us, you know, and we can't trust him, but, but take it anyway. Take it anyway. What kind of counsel is that? What kind of counsel is that? You're supposed to be standing for Israel. You're nothing but, you're nothing but a, a, a Baptist church, okay, that's constantly leading our people down the wrong path. Okay, leading our people as a flock to the slaughter. Okay, and so when the Karagma comes out, when that thing comes out, the major boy, when it comes out, what are you going to tell our people? Oh, just take it. How are we going to eat? How are we going to eat? That's what he said. How are we going to eat? What is it about those who serve in their belly? That's the first thing you thought about is your belly. How you going to eat? When the Lord said what? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Every word. Every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. Okay? It's called faith, man. That's faith. Okay? Even if Satan knew. Hey, if you got that much faith talking to Yahweh Shai, well, you hungry? Well, turn those stones into bread. Okay, the Lord could do that if he wanted to. Okay, look, look what it, look what the Lord did and fed the, the what over five thousand, five thousand people. A few fish, and bread. Two fish, five loaves, Ooh. and then afterwards had twelve baskets of it left over. That's just what's written, huh? I said that's just what's written. That's what's oh, written. Oh, oh. So many things that he did that was that's not written. Water exactly. The wine. The, the fish yeah, net. The yeah, brother, remember that? Okay. Yep. So it's a, it, the miracles of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah are not to be taken lightly. Right. These things written are for our learning of this time. Okay. Teaching you to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah down to the wire, down to the last second. The Lord can save you at the last second, man. Best okay? Hey, in that day, people are going to be begging for a miracle. It's not going to happen. But for us, Lord willing, some miracles are going to come to pass. Exactly. It's a miracle right here. Us being up here. It ain't going to be a new thing for us to call on the Lord. It ain't going to be exactly. a, a new thing for us. That's going to be our, that's our everyday life. All right? That's not a new thing for us. So it ain't going to be an unfamiliar Thing with the Lord when we call upon him. 
You gonna know, oh man, he's been calling on me for years. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's my servant, such and such. Go ahead and deliver him. Yeah. Send an angel. Boom, 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 bam. Yeah. Boom, boom, yeah. bam. That's, it's that simple. Hey, the angels encampeth around those who fear him, man. They're here right now. Okay. They're here right now. Uh, you we know? Just we just can't see the fourth dimension, man. Right. All right. right. We can't see it. I caught him. I caught him on camera. I showed the brothers. Yeah. At work, they were all around me. Just okay. The camera can pick up things. Okay. The yeah. angels of the Lord are always present, man, around those who fear Him, man, and keep His ways, man, to the best of their ability. Okay. We we constantly call on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. When we're not occupied in our work. And the things that we're doing, our brain is occupied in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You can best believe that. Yeah, man. What else can we do? We're oppressed. You know, we're afflicted on every side. What else can we do but call on the Lord? Right. It's slavery, man. So, so Galatians 2 and 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Even we have believed in Yahweh Shai that we might be justified by the faith of the, of the anointed of Yahweh Shai, and not by the works of the law, for by works of the law shall no flesh be justified. He's going into that faith, man, like he was talking about how we said, how are we going to eat? All we know that the jab is bad for you, but take it anyway. That's the man that lacks faith, man. They talk about the law, keeping the laws and all that, but they don't have that faith. They took that bag, man. And now they're preaching false names, telling you to follow after uh, Egypt, you know? Trust in Egypt and all that. That's a man that lacks faith, man. And at the end times, when you pray, like the brother was going into, well, the men of the Lord are gonna pray in that day. You know, they're gonna have faith and they're gonna be delivered because of their faith, you know? Yeah, we are faith-based Israelites, we are. And that's the foundation, that's, that's what it's all about. Our forefathers were faith-based. The Lord, the scripture says, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Exactly. So if you don't have no faith, the scripture tell you, when the Son of Man returneth, shall you find faith on the earth. You know, if you ain't got no faith, you ain't gonna be saved. You know, and, you know the laws don't. You can keep the laws without being faithful or believing in the Lord. You got some jakes out nah, there. You can't keep the laws without being. Because you keep them in the law and what? In faith that you're an Israelite. Right. Yeah. You don't have no proof that you're an Israelite, like records wise. So you believe that you're an Israelite, mm -hmm. therefore you try to keep the laws. Yeah, I'm talking about the people that just keep the laws. But yeah. they're keeping the law in faith. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. They're keeping the law in faith because they believe that they're Israelites, right? Yes, sir. You're right, man. So you have, Jake has faith. Jake knows that there's a higher power, you know? They just playing. Yeah, that's true. Just not the time to play. Okay, this is a real serious time. Okay, because we're closer now than when we believe, man. Right, like you got brothers that get circumcised, right? Yeah. But you brothers out there, you should aspire to get circumcised if you're not. All right, we get circumcised. I, I'm speaking from, from experience. I got circumcised in faith. When I was in the world, that wasn't a thing on my mind. Oh, you know what? I need to get circumcised. That wasn't a thing in my mind. But when I came to the truth and I became a new man, oh, okay, I need, I need to get snipped. I need to get snipped. And I prayed and prayed and prayed, and the Lord opened that door for me, man. So did he to other brothers. Okay? So I did it in faith. That's my point. Keeping the laws. Right? That's something that we can keep in this society. But you yeah, know? you'd have some men that are just um, keeping the laws just to keep it. Not, yeah, not, they try to boast themselves in the law. Not in faith, you know. Yeah. Not practicing faith. Right. Things. Right. Yeah. The scriptures tell you that we're not going to be justified by, by the law. Exactly. We're going to be justified by faith in Yahweh Shai. And the right. scriptures also said if you break one of these commandments, you break broke them all. them all, right? And it's impossible for us to keep all the law, statutes, and commandments under the and being in captivity, man. Right. Oh, the scriptures say we're going to rehearse the righteous acts. You know, everything ain't perfect in a rehearsal. Right. You know, but when the Lord changes us, then we'll be able to be yeah. perfect, man. Yep. But right now, we just gotta 
do what we can. You gonna slip here and there, but hey, the Lord knows your heart. I got a precept. Oh, uh, this is Romans chapter three, verse twenty um, six. Uh, 27 it says where is boasting then it is excluded by what law of works nay but the law of faith <laughs> therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law That's right. is he the mo is, is he the god of the jews only just like you know we went into it months back or whatever time back you had the unclean woman she had the blood issue 12 years she's not supposed to get Close to Yahweh Shah, she's not supposed to be, she's unclean. But her faith compelled her to go to the Lord, man. Right, what, okay. What justified Abram? Was it him keeping the laws? Nope. Or was it him showing his faith and, and, and being obedient to what the Lord told him? Yep. Okay, well, he, the scripture says Abraham, he was justified by faith. Okay? It says, um. Yeah, because think uh, about it, bro, the law, you're supposed to put your son to death. If he was a rebellious son, Isaac was a righteous son, you know? That was, a, that was an act of, of just pure faith, bro. Yeah, right. Because the, the point of the the point of the, the uh, test was, the angel stopped and said, I see that you fear the Lord. Okay, so the, he didn't put nothing over the, over the Lord. Okay? Right. Um, you had Eli, right? Eli the priest. I'm from Levi. He's a Levite. Who are the Levites? The, the helpers of the Kohanim. So you guys are Jewish? Yes. All right, man. All right. Can I finish it? It's a lot good, bro. I was going to make a point about Eli. Oh. He, had, he had rebellious sons, and he didn't take them out. He was supposed to deal with his sons, but he didn't. That's why he had to die. Because the Lord said, you, you, you basically putting your sons over me. Mm -hmm. Okay? I was but, just reading that, bro, yesterday. For Samuel, yeah. I think they popped the same woman. I got a question too. So you guys don't support Palestine? Are you recording us? No. Do you support Palestine? I'm Muslim, but I don't know what's really going on because the media shows two different sides. All right, what do you think it is? Is it genocide? You, right. you don't think so? so you're, 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 what are you again? Bengali. Bengali, okay. But I was born and raised in LA. What, yeah, we're, we're not concerned with Palestine. We're not concerned with what the so-called Jewish people are doing. We're not concerned so with. So you guys are not Zionists? No, we're not. No. no. For real? No. Nah. <laughs> the old people over there are fake Jews. They're no. not the real Jews. You guys Jews. are real Jewish people. Right, right. No, no. we're not Jewish. We're not Jewish. We're Israelites. Ah. We're the Israelites, man. So what's your guys' take on what's going on? We just told you. It don't concern us, bro. Ah. The devil been the devil. He ain't, he ain't just started being the devil. The so-called white man been the devil. Look what he did to the Native Americans. Look what he did to the black man. Look what he did to the Latino man. That's who we concerned about, bro. We could give a goddamn about some Palestinians. I don't see your guys as uh, the Israel star. No, we don't, we don't, we don't deal with that. Yeah, you guys don't deal with That's that. Not right That's not right to that. peacemakers, right? Yeah, you can say that. Like Gandhi? No. No? So like you guys wouldn't have a take on either Palestine or Israel. You guys would be like the peacemakers, no? We're not concerned with it, bro. We're indifferent. Yeah, you guys. We're indifferent, bro. That land of Israel really belongs to these people you see on the sign. Okay, but the, but the, the Palestinians. Yeah. You guys, you guys uh, migrated to that land. Okay, we got these people that got kicked out that land. Throughout a period of time, your people. That's what I'm saying. The Palestinians got kicked off the land as well, right? But, but that land inherently belongs to these people. I, but you I, guys, maybe it does. The Palestinians, maybe it doesn't, you know, I'm just and saying. The, and the, and but the so exactly Jews. what you're fighting for is the same thing the Palestinians are fighting what for. What are we right? fighting for? It's to show that the, this land doesn't belong to the people who are taken. What land? The Israel land. No, we're not fighting for that. Or whatever you want to label that land. We're not concerned with that, brother. What we're concerned with. It's letting our people know the true nationality. We're telling a Negro man that he's not black, that he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We're telling the Native American man that he's not Native American, he's a Gadite or a Reubenite from, from the nation of Israel. We're telling the Latino men that they're Israelites and that they need to return to the Lord because we're in a time of uh, great judgment. All right, America's going to be destroyed in World War III yeah, via nuclear missiles, man. So we're telling our people, just like the prophets did before, telling them. So you see how the U.S. is funding everything 
and it's like they're they're killing Christians as well. And I'm telling you from a Muslim part take, you know, like an outside perspective. Well, we're not Christians, bro. I'm saying they're trying to make it as a standoff between Jewish and Muslims when it's really everybody matters. All right, bro. Wouldn't you think, think so? If that's what you want to think, bro, go ahead. Stop we're not right. concerned with none of that. We don't give a damn. We've been teaching. We've been teaching the so-called white man is the devil. We've been teaching who are who we are. We're the true Israelites. We did. We've been you teaching guys about having the same world. beliefs as Palestinians as well. No. No, man. You guys are fighting for freedom. For our people. For your people. But we're not going to do no freeing. That's what I'm saying. The, the Lord's going to come back. The people of Israel right now are taking that land from Palestine and saying they've been not. doing that. They've That's been what I'm doing saying. that. So you're aware of it. Of course, so like we're you said, aware. The white man's the devil. We've been said that. The white man's been funding this. The white man is the bully of the earth. He's been raped, robbing, and murdering every goddamn man. Why everybody so concerned about the Palestinians? The Palestinians. What about the so-called blacks? No, what no, about no. the Native Americans? Absolutely. Who really, who really uh, uh, got a genocide committed on them? Yeah, no, no, for sure. Yeah, fuck the Palestinians. We don't give a shit. We concerned with our people, bro. Yeah, All right, but you do have some of our people for over there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. For the, for the, your people over there as for well. the holy people. Yeah, for the holy people. But the, but the Palestinians are fighting for your people. No, they well. not. No, they not. The black people, they let them in open arms. And the, the black people are helping them as well. All right, bro. It's really the, the Zion is taking over all of them. All right, bro. You wouldn't agree? I don't care. I just want to see you guys' take on it. <laughs> man, you should... All right, man. Y'all the good one. Can I finish reading this? Fuck. Go ahead, God damn. Take the turn about some fucking yeah. Palestinians. I don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about no goddamn Palestinians, man. Exactly. They want to act like the devil been, like he ain't been doing that shit. He been doing it. Yeah. Why y'all all concerned now? Because it's happening to somebody else other than these mm -hmm. people, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Okay, when it happens to these people, there's no outcry. No, I'm saying it's been happening to the Palestinians. Exactly. They've been doing that. Yeah. They've been doing it. Slowly taking the land. Like, come on, why y'all acting like this is something new? He been uh, slowly itching and itching, taking away uh, uh, freedom from them. They've been under martial law, man. Come on, man. Who gives a shit? They putting it in the news now, heavily, okay? As if people gonna take the, the small hat side, okay? Like the brothers say, we don't care, man. We can give a F, a flying F, man. And that dude wasn't concerned. He wasn't content with me saying, we don't care, bro. We're right. indifferent about it, bro. Like, why you yeah. want to keep pressing the issue? Yeah. No, you got to care about him, though. Got to care uh, about the Palestinians. Got to care bro. about him. We don't give a shit, on, Okay, well, I'm not leaving until you care about him. Wow. Care. He was on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh, man. I, I ain't leaving until you care about he him. He wanted the ounces care. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. Nobody right. care about us, though, right? Right. Yeah. He said that the Palestinians were helping us out. That's not true, man. Yeah, right. Everybody wants the so-called Negro support, whether it be geopolitics or uh, politicians, Democratic Party, yeah. Republican Party. They all want the black vote, the black support, but they don't want to do nothing for us. Right. You know? Yeah, so whatever, whatever, you know? When was there ever an outcry for the things that we suffered from? Right. Never. There was you know? Let something good. happen. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh -huh. Let bad. something happen to the goddamn group, man. Mm. Then they passed the hate crimes, yeah, hate crime bills and all this. But when it comes to the Jake getting shot down in the streets, no one gives a shit. On a daily. On a daily. No one gives okay. a shit. But we we supposed to uh, uh, protest for for the goddamn Palestinians, man. Come on, man. I got a precept. Uh, Jeremiah 15, 5. It says, For who shall have pity upon the old Jerusalem? Right. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American. Ooh. Nobody has pity on us. Everybody rejoices when we catch in hell. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go outside to ask how thou doest? In other words, these nations, the Lord is saying these nations don't give a damn about us. Exactly. Give a shit about us. I mean, that's blatant, and man. That's 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 evident, man. That's crazy, y'all. Because our you got the wicked of our people that care about them. Yeah. yeah. That want to care about and say all nations could be saved. And most likely that guy was a Jake. Yeah. Second his pants. Yeah. <laughs> most likely he say he's from LA. You know, he looks like a straight nigga, man. Yeah. Look like his mother could be a, a heathen, though. But, all right, why are you concerned with these these, these nations, man? Yeah. Jake is so concerned with people that don't give a fuck about them, man. You can't tell me that even before even before the, the 18, 17, 1600s, 
that the other nations didn't know the, the terror and the torture that these people were going through from the other nations. You can't tell me they didn't know. They haven't been knowing all this time. But where's the outcry? There's no outcry. That's how America was established. Okay. It was established from the blood of the Israelites. Exactly. Okay, so of course they knew. And knew they anybody say damn. anything? Yeah. No, no. I guess that ah, damn Asian man, they don't give a shit about us. But we exactly. supposed to care about them? Yep. Or the, the damn devil. He's been uh, uh, running amok in wickedness. He's been doing that. The scriptures call him the man of violence, man. Yep. The, uh, the evil man. Come on, man. Yep. He's been on that shit. A reign of terror. He's been on that. Why y'all acting like it's something new? Afghanistan, Iraq, Yemen. Oh, man. But they want to hide behind democracy. That's all they do. They hide, They try to make it seem like it's good intent behind it. No, man. You are the fucking devil, man. Exactly. Like they going to free the world. We're going to free the world. Now, who the fuck assigned you to be the police of the earth? Exactly. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Mind your damn business, man. That's why the Lord's staring up these nations. They tired of your ass, man. Yep. But, you know, hey. Even they tired of tired of him here in America. Oh yeah. Look how the look how the 24, 25 states is against the other 25 states. What it says, the kingdom divided shall not stand. Yeah, they're tired of okay. each other. <laughs> they're tired of each other. I <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Isaiah 14 and 29. Rejoice not thou, O Palestinia. But you look at that word, Palestinia. Basically, just goes back to Philistine. Okay. Because the rod of him that smote thee is broken, for out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and the fruit shall be a firing, flying serpent, which is referring to our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, because I brought that out because when Esau's kingdom is being is going to be destroyed, you other nations don't rejoice because you're going to go into slavery too. Yeah. Our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to put your put your ass in slavery too. All nations. The subject under his feet. Like it says, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, man. So don't rejoice when the land of Israel, when the land of uh, 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 the land of America is all hit, uh, destroyed by fire. The Lord got the Lord got judgment for you. Yep. You are the nations. You partook in having these people in slavery. All right. Don't don't forget about Joel the third chapter. All right. It was you Hamites? You uh you Ishmaelites that sold us onto uh, onto these Edomites. Okay, and all and, and and don't forget all the pastime that that you other nations had these people in slavery because at a time, at a point, every nation Moab, Ammon, okay, Ishmael, Ham, okay, Japheth, they all had a time to put have us in captivity. Okay. So Revelation twenty and five. But the rest of the dead live not again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. The rest of the dead is talking about you other nations, man, because you're going to go into slavery a thousand years under Yahweh Shai. And then after that thousand years is accomplished, then, you know, you're going to go back to your own land, your own system. The Lord's going to put you where you belong. You know, Moab is going to go where Moab goes. Hammond is going to go where Hammond goes. You know? Look at the ancient land of, of Moab. Where, what about China, Edom? Where, 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 yeah, go? yeah, where Edom go? Where are you going? Edom ain't going. Edom ain't going. <laughs> going. He, he going off the planet Earth. Not existing. You, you can't. You can't forget <laughs> about the Edom. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was a trick question. You know. We're gonna start a big bonfire yeah. at the end of those thousand years. Yeah, God. You know. You know it's gonna be officially genocide. That thing which you want to do to us, Margaret Sanger. It's going to happen to your ass. It's going to happen to your you. people. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ah. Let's go. Um, Second Ezra chapter 16, verses 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia. Yep. Woe be unto thee, Egypt, and Syria. Yep. All you nations, man. Woe unto you. Destruction unto you. Okay? Because you touched the apple of the Most High's eye. The nation of Israel, these people are on the side, man. You thinking, walking around the earth, telling people we ain't shit, treating us like we ain't shit? Well, you done fuck with the gods of the earth, man. The ones who the Most High said are gods, okay, but gonna die like men, all right? So war unto you, 
not peace unto you. Okay, whoa. Get ready for that thousand years of brutal slavery, man. Because all you nations done had us in slavery, man. Yeah. And you treat us like crap. Hey. Oh. And, and, and Jake, Jake still, after all that, still treat y'all people with some sort of respect. Jake can't help it, man. Okay, exactly. We're the children of peace. You know, Ooh. children of light. We're, you know, we're, we're naturally peaceful, man. Yeah. But Jake is just lost. You know, that's all it is. But the ones of us that are awake, we don't fuck with you goddamn heathens. Yeah. Especially you damn Edomites. We don't, we don't man. We deal, we, we deal with y'all because we have to, man. We're we in your world. But we know what it is. Yeah. We're doing nothing extra, no extracurricular activities with you. Yeah, I'll be at okay? work, right? I'll be like, these Edomites be talking to me and shit. In my mind, I'm like, man, shut the fuck up and, and go, up. man. Keep exactly. fuck up my face. Yeah. But on the outside, I'm like, you know, looking them in the eyes, smiling, yeah. <laughs> Back and forth with yeah. them. But really, man, get the fuck out my face, man. Exactly. <laughs> because playing their game. Because yeah. uh, you're a deceiver. They're deceiving. See, okay? but Jake will get deceived by that. Exactly. Yeah. Jake will be like, oh, this guy really He likes me. Yeah, he yeah. likes me. Nah, I know that I, I'm dealing with a snake. Exactly. So you gotta be the snake to the snake. <laughs> the exactly. Yeah. That's what that's what uh that's what Jacob was yep. to Esau. Yep. He has supplanted me these two times. Call widow. Exactly. Call widow. Right. Will be once. Uh, yeah. Save you wisdom you in this society. Uh, Save me. You know? Yeah, you need walking wisdom at least, uh, especially to those that are without it. You can't go to work with a mad face mm -hmm. and all this extra shit. Nah, no. Man. You ain't gonna have a fucking job. Exactly. You gotta use wisdom. All right, yeah. motherfuckers should like you. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing how, bad to that's say how about strong you. your wisdom should be. Oh yeah, people should like you. <laughs> yeah, it should be a shock if they see you out here. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, well, you ain't gotta switch up. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't switching up. Yeah. I'm me, just like I'm talking right now. That's how I talk. But. You know, I'll, I'll treat the next man with respect. Exactly. But in my mind, I'm thinking something else. Right. You know, we don't go out here talking about, you know, the end times and all that with them, talking about the scriptures with them. We keep it light. Yeah, even if they talk about the scriptures. You got to play the I mean, game. I mean, people at work talk about the scriptures. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. You got to play the game. Yeah. Okay. Being wise as serpents. Uh, motherfuckers talking about some Merry Christmas, some Happy New Year. Hey, hey. to you too. Yeah, same you. to you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Same <laughs> to you. Or you say Happy Holidays. You know, I don't yeah. say Merry Christmas or Happy Things. I just, I just tell them Happy Holidays. I just tell them. You know? uh, uh, I just tell them. Like, same to you. Thank you, man. Yeah. 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 We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't in the dark, man. We can see through the light. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we can see through the dark. You know, so you got to maneuver our... our Rightly out here, man. Don't be an idiot now. You got the most valuable uh, knowledge on the earth. There's a way to move with it. Exactly. You know? Yep. Cast not thy pearls before swine. Right. Yeah. That's one. Ain't no point of talking to these people about no no meaningful things. Now, exactly. <laughs> if there's somebody that has that spirit on them, like, uh, uh, you know, they talking about politics or something, then you deal with that. You know, you deal with whatever people deal coming with. You know. Yeah. But don't go they try. Come, they coming you with sports. All right, let's talk a little sports. Yeah. Let's we'll talk about some women. We we'll talk about some women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You okay. can't go out here hey, talking about Esau, so-called white man is, is the devil. You can't go out there with that. Yeah. You know. I'll I'll I'll, I'll give them little clues though if they want to talk about something. There so you go. Is, world is changing rapidly. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to see what 10 years look like. Right. I'll say something like that. Right. You know, 10 years from now, or this technology is, you know, mm -hmm. I'll throw a little hints in there and see if they bite it, but, you know, hey, you don't go to work for that, you know? No, you, you go don't. To work, you just let do them work, job, man. Make some money, that's that, man. That's it. Don't trust them. Don't trust your co-workers. Yeah. Okay? Don't give them no ammo fire back at you with okay a lot of times these demons will hop on your co-workers try to get you off your square you know saying all types of outrageous shit mm -hmm. you know just keep your square man you're in this truth man oh yeah don't let no 
devil get you off, you know, get you out off, off your square, man. If somebody yeah. really do something to you, put a curse on them. And the names of your house by Shema Yeah. I, I, uh, I did that over the summer. And, uh, hey, man, the Lord heard me, man. One dude got fired this week. Man, dude right. that I put a curse on. <laughs> I was praising the Lord yesterday because I wasn't too sure if that was the case. But then I found out yesterday, like, oh, snap. Got him. Got him. But hey, you, you took a little patience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck you, nigga. Because he was, he was back to, he, we had this conversation. He was pissing me off because he was just, everything he was saying was against the idea of a God, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. But he was saying that he ain't atheist, but it's like everything that you're saying is atheist. It's atheist, man. <laughs> And this is coming from a fucking Mexican. Oh, damn. oh damn. So he really pissed me the fuck off, man. Hey, you know, that, 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 that righteous spirit within me was, you know? So I cried to the Lord about it. Get yeah. this proud ass motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And he got him. Right. Now you're jobless, nigga. Yeah. That's casting your cares upon the Lord. Yeah. That's part of your, you're going some anxiety, some devil, some asshole, the job giving you hell. We're talking about you Pray to the Lord now. about it. Pray yeah. to the Lord, man. Cast your cares into the Lord, man. Don't you try to take it on yourself. You yeah. Know? Hey, the not mocked. He's not mocked. Okay, whatever man saw, that what also, also shall he reap. Yeah, I do. It's real proud, man. Okay. Real proud. Yeah. Real proud. If there's a God, then this. If there's a God, then why oh, this? Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. I rather. I told him I rather believe. I rather uh, live my life as there is a God, and find out there isn't one, than to. Live my life as there ain't a God and find out there is one. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So he gonna find out. Hey, you Jakes, man. Find Lord out. gonna humble you, fucking Jakes, man. Yeah. Especially you, goddamn. I don't know what's wrong with you, goddamn. Uh, it's Christ, man. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. They got a lot of pride, man. Yeah, they got a lot of pride. I don't know what the hell is wrong with the tribe of Scar, man? You gotta humble down, man. Because they didn't got over here. They didn't got the trabajo. Okay. They work, 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 work. What's the what is that? <laughs> okay. Right. They got the trabajo and and they're proud. Okay? Because that's that's in their that's in their name. He is hired. Why are you proud? But then you wanna sit on the you wanna sit on, on, on Judah, you wanna sit on uh that's really who you, who you wanna sit on, is Judah. I don't know man. But the Lord broke that 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 uh that brotherhood in between us, you know? Yeah, it's all good. Exactly. Yeah. We gotta drop the scripture, man. Yeah, we gotta drop the script. We got a script over here. Like the chief. Habakkuk 1 and 12. <laughs> I mean, there's look at prices. Yeah, man. Esau is on his way out. The two thirds, you're on your way out. Okay? We're hoping from salvation from, from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to deliver us from the things that are about to come. We're giving you warning. About what's about to happen, what's about to transpire in America and across the world, man. Okay, what's in the scriptures is going to happen. What the scripts is going to happen. It's going to happen, man. What the scripture says. Go ahead. So Habakkuk 1 12. Art thou not from everlasting, O Lord, my power, mine holy one? We shall not die, O Lord. Thou hast ordained them for judgment and almighty power. Thou has established them for correction. Exactly. Judgment is coming to our people, man. Okay, you're gonna get corrected on your on your non-belief. Okay? That's a big problem. How you were created by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to be the people of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but you don't believe. That's terrible. That's a terrible state to be in, man. That's how you know they're not pleasing the most high. Especially those that, because the scripture says that a people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Yep. But you have a you have a John three and sixteen zeal. Right. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. What what about those that don't that don't even believe in a God? That don't even believe in a higher power. 
how displeased is the Lord with them? Okay? Especially if you're an Israelite, man. Because our, our people have learned the other ways. You have a lot of our people that will come out as atheists. They'll say that there is no God. They'll believe in Scientology and all that shit. You know? Zach. You want to question how the creator was made. I had a guy when I first came in and uh, him and the other guy, uh, Benjamites, I had been talking to the one Benjamite about the truth. And he brought his friend. And his friend, I guess they were one percenters or something like that. He's going to ask me. He's like, well, yeah, so what? The Most High, he's a man? I was like, yeah. And he's going to ask me, does the Most High have a rod? I was like, what? I was like, why are you, why are you thinking under the Most High's garment? I don't know. It's not my business what the Most High has under his garment. It's not my business. It's not your business either, man. Okay, so our people have a contempt for the Most High, for his son, okay, asking weird questions like that. That was the most, yeah, that's, retarded. that's the most retarded thing I ever heard, man. Okay? Go ahead. This is uh, Psalms 14 and 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. You're a fool if you think that there is no God. If you believe, believe in the Big Bang theory, there was a Big Bang, okay, which, which is a big explosion. When was the last time you put an explosive to something and it created something? Yeah, all this perfect order. Yeah. Exactly. There's a lot of perfect, I mean, everything is made in perfect order. Exactly. If I took some, some, it, it's a big bang, it ain't a little bang, a big bang. If I took 20 tons of dynamite and, and put it in a building, okay? That whole building is going to blow up, and probably the surrounding areas are going to blow up. It's not going to build that building up to become a bigger building, okay? Yeah, look at 9-11. Exactly. That was destruction. It wasn't anything else. I mean, just entertaining that thought is retarded as fuck. Yeah. I don't even want to entertain that bullshit. That's just like entertaining the flat earth. Man, I ain't entertaining that shit, man. You people okay. are retarded, man. That's why the Lord going to put you out your fucking misery, man. But the, the, the scripture says the fool have did what? The fool have said in his heart there is no God or power. They are corrupt. They right, have done. That's, a, that's the foolish thing to say. You know, that's the foolish thing to say, right? When, when you have the records right here, man, how everything was created, you know, that there is a creator, that there is a, 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 a son. I mean, the son. Are you telling me uh, a rainbow? was created out of an explosion. Right. right. Or but, even just the act of procreating. Yeah. Right. That just came out of nowhere. Right. Yeah. The fact that we carry seed, they have eggs. Come on, man. Yeah. The sun and the moon Ooh, rising and, yeah. and, 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 and going down. Perfect. The different species of, 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 of cre creatures out here. Yeah. Right. Day the and different, night. Day and night. The different seasons. That's what I was about to say. You know? The fact These, that the fact that men has intelligence. Right. Yeah. These right? things are perfect, man. Okay? The only reason things aren't perfect because the wicked in rulership. Okay? He took the seeds out of the, the fruit. Okay? He started creating what they call it, uh, uh, clones and that type of things, man. The wicked. The Lord created everything. It was perfect. Okay? And it was good. All right, the water, the gold and silver in the water to filter the water. Yeah. Okay, you got certain plants that's that's made for certain insects and certain birds. Yeah. Okay, just like the hummingbird, there's a certain plant that his beak fits in. There's a certain tree that the giraffe eats from. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So those type of thing, the Big Bang did that, okay? No, it makes like, sense. like you said about water, everything is connected to water. Our bodies, what is it, like 70% water? Yep. Every, everything on the planet that lives needs water. You tell me that's a mistake? Whatever, man. The fool has said in his heart, 
There is no Most High. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Exactly. They have done abominable works, man. To take the seeds out of the fruit, it's not no longer, that's not that fruit anymore. Yeah. It may look like an apple. It may look like an orange. But that's not an orange, man. They, they call it what it is. It's a genetically modified organism. Even the ones that say that they're uh, organic. You got a fucking grape. Organic grapes and non-organic. So they go to the organic grapes and no seeds. How can it be organic? Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't have seeds. You okay. Go to another country to get uh, grapes with seeds in it. Yeah, that's hard to find. So the, that's the, very hard to find. The, the, the damn devil done corrupted everything, man. Okay? You can't get anything in its pure, pure state over here in America. Okay? Everything is set up to kill you. Yeah. Okay, like the dude said on uh on Avatar. When they went to, to, to the planet, he was like, hey, everything down there wants to kill you. You gotta keep yourself hard. Okay? Yeah, because you're not supposed to be there. Exactly. All right? That's why they want to kill you, because you ain't supposed to be there, man. <laughs> what the fuck you doing in their world? Yep. And steal the resources. That's, what, that's why they're over there. Always want to you know? make it seem like you the hero, man. Nah, man. You, you, you the, the damn problem, man. You the problem of the earth, man. All right? All existence is tired of you so-called white people. And I'm tired of saying so-called white people. God damn. Yeah. You fucking Edomites, man. Yeah. I had a woman tell me, this little chick, you know what I'm saying, a little Palestinian baddie, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. She tell me she hates you motherfuckers, man. Ooh. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Exactly. I see why you hate the damn devil. I hate him too. Yep. <laughs> yep. So see, the, the devil then went across the earth and he had people fooled at first, but now they're like, uh-uh. No, you're the great Satan. Okay, you're the great Satan, and, and, and this, is, this is Babylon the Great, which ought to be destroyed, and which is going to be destroyed. And all that join hand in hand with this place, you're going to get destroyed too. You tell us, the scripture is telling you, our people, to come out of her, that this place is polluted. It would destroy you. But do you want to come out of her? No. You want to continue. Why? You want to continue in your wickedness. You don't want to be held accountable. You don't want to gain discipline. You don't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which, in, which innately is inside of you. Okay? You know when you're doing wickedness. You know you're going off, yeah, but you just keep doing it. When these women are being whores, they know they're being whores. Yeah. They're talking about some whole phase. Exactly. Ain't no coming back from being a whore. You know? Nope. Yep. It makes it seem like it's a phase, like it's a it's a it's okay to go through a certain phase. No, man. You can't get your virginity back. Once it's done, it's done. Once that cherry pop, you can't get your value back. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. That's why they lie about their body count. Yeah. That's because within their spirit they know you ain't supposed to be like that. You know? They know a man's gonna judge you. You had multiple bodies. You know? Yeah. How many men you been with? Uh -huh. Uh, three. Yeah, so it's five and a couple okay. fingers. Okay, the mining already told her about 250. Let's be real, they don't really know how many okay. men they've been with. Yeah, I'm saying, I said about. Yeah, they don't, they don't, <laughs> they don't, honestly, they don't know. They give an estimation. Yeah. yeah, they'll give you an approximation, but they don't know really. But then lie. Oh, three, just my, uh, my high school sweetheart. When we were together and we broke up and so forth and so on. Then my baby daddy. You know, we didn't last, so and then after that, just one more guy, you know. But in between all of that, you were sleeping with the whole football team. Yeah. And this okay. woman the whole basketball team. Okay. This woman said she, she had three partners and given 500 oral sex. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. She had three sexual partners and given 500 plus oral That's a lot. Man, get out of here. Yeah. Okay. 
But that's that represents what? That represents the two thirds. Okay. Being a whore, being a harlot. Okay. Not espousing yourself to one husband, which is this word, man. Okay. You're only supposed to trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But you're trusting in oppression, you're trusting in the child of Egypt. And when the scripture just said, what? That's going to be your shame. That's going to be your demise. Okay? Yeah, just going back to the whole non believing. Real quick, this is uh, 2 John, uh, verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not. That Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Some people say that Yahweh Shai came back as only a spirit. Or some people say that Yahweh Shai never existed. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So those are deceivers, man. You got different camps. I'll say stuff like that. People just don't believe. Try to get you to push that belief on you. And when Bro was talking about this, uh, with the Mexican dude at his job, trying to push that non belief spirit. That dude was an antichrist. He was really uh, very proud about it too. Like he had a rebuttal for everything. Yeah. He just really, he really hated the Lord. Man. But he would say that he's not atheist. Like everything that you're saying, I was like, all right, if you ain't, if you're not atheist, give me some, give me some, something to support that there is a creator. He had nothing. Not. But he'll tell me everything why there isn't one. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Fool have said there is no power, there is no God. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai doesn't exist. You a fool. And I was waiting. I, I stopped talking to that dude after that. Good. I was waiting on the Lord to judge that dude. Good. And that nigga ain't at the job no more. So fuck you. Yeah. That Must same that same dude told me he never left the valley, man. That nigga never left the valley. And he has a good job. He had a real good job, bro. Mm. Never, left <laughs> never left the valley, man. You got Jake's like that. Never left. Never been nowhere. Yeah. California is a place that you can see a lot in California. You know, I, people leave. People travel here to come here. They come here. Exactly. Really? California you know? is the, the the fifth largest economy in the world. Okay, to whole countries. California's economy is that big, yeah. okay? This is a place you can go, you can go to the desert, and then you can go, go to the mountains. You can see snow, and you can see uh, sand in the same day. You can go to the beach, and go to the mountains in the same day, okay? But the Lord has their vision, has their, has their uh, peripheral that small. Because he don't want to save him. Huh? Okay? Was that it on that, bro? Go on. Oh, yeah, Psalm 7. I think that was it. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 11. It says, The Lord, or so, yeah, the Lord judges the righteous. The Lord is angry with the wicked every day. The Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Okay, there's not a day goes by that the Lord is not angry with them. Okay. The Lord hates Esau. You so-called white people, man. He hates you. He's just letting you until what it say? He will let until he be taken out the way. Until he be taken out of the way. He letting you do. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He knows you're wicked and what you're going to do. Okay, he's letting you do it. But you're going to be taken out of the way very soon. Go ahead. It says, if he turn not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his boat and made it ready. Mm. The, hey, the, 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 what is that? Isaiah 57, 54 and 17. Can you uh, get 54 that? 16. 54 and 16. Created the Smith. Okay. Oh. All right. Got it. Isaiah 54, 16. Behold, I have created. It's locked. It says. 
Behold, I have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire. That's the scientist that he created to create these ICBM nuclear missiles, man. Go ahead. And it says, Behold, I have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire, and I bring it forth an instrument for his work. What is his work? His work is to destroy this place, man. To, to, to put out evil, okay, from the earth. And those ICBMs, they're cleaning. Fire is a cleaning agent, yeah. okay? Purifier. It's going to purify this place, man. All you wicked, all this wickedness, all you wicked people, you're going to be purified, okay, by nuclear fire. That's what's coming to America, all right? Right. So we said they shall come that shall burn us in the oven. Exactly. You no. Know? What do you think that's talking about? You know? still, waiting on a, still waiting to ask a Christian that. What is this talking about? Go ahead. It says, and I have created the waster to destroy. The waster. Okay. Mm. He, didn't, he didn't create the waster to, to, to plant tulips and to plant petunias, whatever, however you say it. Okay. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't uh, create the waster to build up societies. He created to destroy, right. to destroy wickedness from off the earth, okay? In all its forms, okay? Because when, when, the, when these people, when the Lord put the, put the right spirit on these people, when the Lord creates a new body for the Hebrew Israelites, when he puts that new spirit inside of us, it's going to be all righteousness, man. And that's what's going to go forth from the nation of Israel, man. Anything wicked is going to get destroyed, man. That's why the Most High's eyes cannot look upon this place. Because if he did, this whole place would be done. Okay? It's Isaiah 13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of great a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Man, what do you think that's talking about? That's talking about the ICBM nuclear missiles, man. That's gonna come over here from the other ends of the world, okay, and go into the space, to inner space right there, and come back down and rain on this place, man. Nuclear destruction, okay? From sea to shining sea, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, overkill, overkill. What's the number of the horsemen? 200 million. 200 million. Okay? The scripture says 200,000 thousand. You got 200, comma, thousand, one time comma, thousand, another comma. That's 200 million if you, if you don't know math. Okay? That's overkill, man. That's why this place is going to be a desert. He's going to pulverize this place, man. And you wicked, you're gonna be up in it. All, right. all your body parts, all your, all your works, all the things that you hold so dear to you, it's gonna be in that sand. Okay. Hey, the Lord said He's not gonna flood the earth again yeah. with water. He's gonna bring that flood of fire. Exactly. What is this? What's that? Yeah, right. What's, it's what called is it? A lake. Lake of fire. God. There you go. A lake, a lake could be a, could be deep. A lake could be shallow. Uh -huh. A lake is a standing body of water. Right. Okay. A standing body of fire. Exactly. You know, and I like I like to bring out the fact that when 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 uh when fire burns over a certain degrees, it turns blue. Yeah. The hottest fire is blue, like on your gas stove. When you turn that gas on, that shit is blue. Why is it blue? And then at the end, the tips, it, it gets orange, and then it gets white. 
at the tips. Because that's the cooler part of the fire at the tips. So you can imagine this place is going to look like a big lake. Yeah, that, that okay? Nuclear, that nuclear fire is going to be harder than even lava. Exactly. We know how destructive lava itself is. It's going to destroy lava. Lava ain't going to be able to stand up against it. Lava going to have to become not lava. We can't even be lava no more. Okay? Go ahead. As you had said, uh, from sea to shining, shining sea. Mm -hmm. It's a Revelation 11 and 13. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain men 7,000, mm. and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the power of heaven. And so there was a great earthquake, because when the missiles hit, Earth is gonna rock to and fro like a drunkard. Exactly. Yeah. The tenth part of the city fell because America had broken up into ten different sections. Yeah, from right New York to California. Yeah. Right? Zip code. Yeah, yeah. Uh, illustration right there. Yeah, right there. FEMA region. Yeah. yeah. And it was all through the spirit. Yeah. yeah. It said the elect were, were frightened, and that's the men that was beamed up in the chariots, they still gonna fear uh, of the destruction that just happened. This is going to be that terrible. Yeah, it says, uh, for slain men, 7,000, 7,000 completion. Every man, woman, and child that's standing on the soils of America is going to die in that lake of fire. Yeah. Yeah. Serious business out here. Yeah. Like that shit. You're going to, uh, you're going to be. Cyber truck. Shit. Like some Edomite crap. I'm proud of that. Oh, yeah, it's bulletproof? Yeah, fuck with that. Is it bulletproof? Uh, yeah, it's bulletproof. Gets in an accident, the other cars are cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I can't fuck with that. So it's extremely heavy? That's a, yeah, it's like a tank. Uh, it's ugly as hell. <laughs> yeah. said the remnant were frightened, gave glory. So the remnant is going to be up in those ships, man. And they're going to be afraid. They're going to be looking down. Scared and new bodies and afraid still. Afraid, man, because they're gonna see all that destruction. But they're gonna give glory, you know, all praises. Y'all watch me outside in that chariot, man. Right. I got some. Go ahead, Art. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 20. I'll start from 19. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim Shai, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yep. You become dross, man. You, you, you don't shine no more. You're dull. You're dull of hearing the word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You're dull of, of executing, the, uh, executing the law, statutes, and commandments, the ones that you can keep, okay? Like something simple as not eating pork, yeah. okay? <clears throat> you, you, or not having sex with your wife. Exactly. Simple stuff, man. That's simple. That's like you don't have to, you don't have to, 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 uh, to be greatly uh, uh, inspired to do that. It's something you can just do. Just don't pick it up, don't eat it, and don't talk to nobody else's woman. Leave a woman alone. Yeah. Yeah, that dross, that's uh, the impurities yeah. that build up on precious metals like gold and silver. The way to get rid of it, you melt it down. So, uh, you know, that's what most guys talking about, how he's going to melt you down, get to purify you. Yeah, and that's, the the unwanted, burden. that's the unwanted portion of it. Exactly. Melt. The Lord don't want you niggas. Melt. That's, that's that word, melt. You be there, melt you. Right, because then it say that uh, those that took enough, the pragma is going to be, uh, is going to be, uh, you know, going to feel that wrath of the Most High's in the nation yep. in front of the Lamb, which is the Awashah and the Holy Angels, the elect. We're going to be witnessing all this, man. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be there, Lord willing, in outer space, okay, getting front row seats to see the See the Lord melt you niggas, man. Right. Yeah. It says, um, yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst of. 
As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fear upon you. Right, man, because when this happens, you jakes not cut up in that fire, you don't know this is from Yahweh, but it's from Yahweh shot. Because what does it say in Isaiah 6 chapter? When, when is Jake going to get the truth? When is Jake going to finally realize? When that, right, right, right before that destruction comes. There's something in this world called life. Your life flashes right in front of your eyes. Where you people are about to die and your whole life flashes, you get a quick preview of your whole life. Well, guess what's going to be in our preview? How you mocked the prophets? Yeah. How you didn't believe? Okay. How, 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 how you heard this word and, and, and came into the truth or fell out? Okay. Your whole life's going to flash right in front of your eyes. You don't know why the Lord's going to do this to you, man. Because the Lord's going to leave your spirit in there for you to, to feel that pain. Yeah. All right? I've been electrocuted, and that shit felt like it was longer than it was. And it was only like a couple seconds. But like you said, bro, the Lord can have people's spirits feeling like, like it's like it's happening to them forever. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the Lord ain't bringing, this, bringing that type of destruction for you to just get zapped. And then your spirit just goes up and you don't feel nothing. Okay. Hey, he ain't doing it for that. They said they shall know it what? Death by pain. That's if you make it that far. If you make it that far. It's a okay. world of hell before that happens. And whoever makes it that far is a special type of evil. <laughs> Those are the ones that took the Quran. Yes. Yeah. 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 But a lot of Jake's not going to make it to that point. A lot of you going to starve to death. A lot of y'all going to get gunned down. A lot of you going to get taken out by the men some ways. Yep. That troop, that, that flood of troops that's coming in, like the caterpillars, is going to be so many. Okay? What do you think all these all these, these immigrants is coming in here for? You think they come in here for jobs? Ain't no jobs in America. What the heck you think they're coming here for? They come in here for you, for you Americans, man. Okay. They like the oh, lock. Go ahead. It's lucky, like that movie, the first. I think it was the Forever Purge. It's one of those purge movies. Which one? The My um. Basically, they're at the airport. They see foreigners coming in. It's like, so they ask, "Why are you here? I'm here to take part in the first purge. Get my hands on these Americans. Oh, Something yeah. to that matter. See? You know. Yeah. I Americans walk around proud, man. You know, because the American is a virgin as far as world war is concerned. Okay? She think nobody can touch her. And the people are the same. Yeah. Everybody thinks America is this great, strong superpower. Okay? When the Lord has created the Smith, yes, He created the Smith to blow the coals in the fire, to bring forth an instrument for him destruction who is going to destroy it's going to destroy these guys right here okay why they're the wicked he's he's coming to destroy this wicked place america okay he's gonna when the when the lord comes back that's going to be the, be the end of wickedness ruling and reigning on the earth you might have wickedness still going on i'm sure you will but it's not going to be pushed to the forefront okay and when it be found out it's going to get it's going to get wiped and out going to be dealt with immediately huh that's right going to be dealt with immediately exactly satan's like still going to be on these other nations yeah so there's still going to be wickedness on the planet but it's not going to flourish you know it's going to be like the brother says be handled it's going to be dealt with people the people on the earth are not going to be wicked yeah Yep. Yeah, like um, you have you read that account. Um, you read the scriptures of Zechariah 14, which goes into what will happen to a nation that will not come to worship um in the mountains of Jerusalem. You probably are gonna have nations that Satan's gonna put the spirit on not to come. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. <laughs> if every nation came up, it's gonna be some people that aren't gonna do it. It's gonna be, people, it's gonna be some people that are gonna rebel. Yeah. You know. And think about it, you're in this flesh. This flesh is naturally rebellious. It's inherently wicked, man. Yeah. You know? Especially if you're a heathen. <laughs> okay? Especially if you're a heathen. Yeah, because they're in a beast state mentality. They have no nothing to govern them. 
what governs us? The laws, statutes, and commandments that the yep. Lord gave us. Yeah. Okay. And they're not going to have it written in the inward parts. They're going to have to learn it from us. They're going to have to be taught the laws, statutes, and commandments. They're going to learn our ways. Okay. Right. Because it's, it's just in Jake, like, not to eat his meat bloody. Bring Jake a steak, and when he cuts it open, blood flows out of it. He go, hey, there's going to be some complaining, like, yo, what's going on here? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. They just know. Yo, if his chicken's not cooked right, Yeah. It'll come out cold. Exactly. Has sort out a restaurant earlier today. Fucking, they gave him a cold chicken. Big ass Jake got mad. Got up to the hotel. Give me a cold fucking chicken for you know. Ain't right. You're supposed to have. You're supposed to have food that's cooked. You know. Yep. But see, that's just in us. All right. But the heathen don't have that in them. Yeah. That's why. That's why it's so easy for Ammon and and Moab. Okay, to go to the sea and eat anything that's moving and not moving. Okay, you go, go in their grocery stores, go to the back where the seafood department is, and they got all these, these barrels or, or tubs with things that you have never seen in your life. Yeah, Bro, there's, there's videos of uh, uh, Jake catching these more bites, catching cats, bro, and killing them. Hey, taking they, them back to the uh, restaurant. Hey, they got a they got a uh, a fish drink. They eat it alive. They eat it. You seen it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fish. They little small. Look like tadpoles or something. Okay. They eat them alive in a cup. Okay. Eat them alive. Yeah. All right. There's none of none of that's gonna be going on in the kingdom, man. We're stopping all of that. Okay. You're not gonna be eating no shrimp. No crab, no lobster, no crawdads, okay? Those catfish, those things are going to be left in the waters to do their job. So cleaning and purifying the water, okay? They're not going to be changed into a delicacy. Wicked, the wicked turn the things upside down. Now a lobster is a delicacy. Get out of here. Imagine just how much cleaner the oceans are going to be with all the lobster population, shrimp, uh, catfish population just flourishes in there. Yep. You know? Hey, let's say you have a fish tank, right? A fish tank, you always have to buy a filter. Say it again? We have a fish tank, you have to buy a filter. We have all types of fishes. Right, right. The right? same thing with turtles, right? Well, if you were to have like a fish caught, a, fish, a catfish, yeah. which is like the earth natural, which is like a natural filter. Yeah. All right? That'll keep the, uh, a lot of people keep small catfish yeah, exactly. in their tank. And when you see this catfish, where is he? On the side of the glass with his mouth, right on the side of the glass, cleaning all the glass, and then he goes to the bottom of the thing, get all the poop from down there, but he's constantly cleaning it. Just like a pig, he's constantly cleaning, okay? But they, they want to put those things out there like it's a delicacy. You're supposed to eat it. Damn devil, man. We hate these damn devils, man. Everything they do is fucking wicked, man. That's why you got shit like that. Walking exactly. Around. What the hell was that? Oh, man. That's right. <gasps> man. You never found it. No, no. Okay. You got something, bro? Yeah, I was... Um, Wait. Yeah, just like you said, you know, how it's just naturally within us in the kingdom. But in the kingdom, though, the sons of the wicked are still going to be the sons of the wicked. Yeah. And that wickedness is still going to be naturally within them, you know? Just, they ain't going to be able to act on their wickedness. I got some. They ain't, ain't going to have no, no, they ain't going to be able to do it. They ain't going to be able to be a bunch of homos, a bunch of pedophile. They're not going to be able to eat whatever they want, drink whatever they want. Nope. Nope. Hey bro, that in itself is gonna be torture to eat something. <laughs> Not being yep. able to Google and he was the Ain't gonna better lie. Yeah. Ain't gonna ain't better lie. Yeah. Uh, De Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2 it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee 
to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the that are upon the earth. Right, and we're gonna be able to really uh you know be that in the kingdom of heaven, man. Thou shalt not eat any abom abominable thing. These are the beasts which ye shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, the roebuck, and the fallow deer, and the wild goat, and the we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, We're going to take what we need. You know, we're not going to have factories just slaughtering animals on a daily basis, nonstop. Yeah. Nah, man, hey. we're going to kill for that day. You want some, if you want some ox, ox you gonna go. You gonna go in your van. Go get. I mean, you go. Go in your van. <laughs> so I was looking. You gonna go to your. Uh, you gonna go to your stable. You, you gonna go to your stable. Your farm. Your farm. Hey, you, you gonna go to your service. Right. Go ahead, give me some lamb. Exactly. Man. Kill. Have it the same day. Fresh. Same, same day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you gonna. You know, it's gonna. That's gonna be a healthy lamb. You gonna. It's gonna grow up right. It ain't gonna be all traumatized when it's dying. Right. Gonna yeah. grow up in a beautiful world, in a beautiful space. They showed it's gonna you be that. healthy meat. They showed you that in Avatar. When she righteously, yep. she righteously yep. killed him. Okay. Yep. And she prayed before she killed him. Yep. You know, she had what the scripture said that uh, the righteous have regard for the life of their beast, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When we, when we did sacrifices, we would put our hands on top of the, the priest would put his hand on top of the head and slit the throat. Exactly. The scriptures tell us not to suffocate the, the yeah, head. Strangle it. Yeah. Yeah, strangle right. The, the, the animal was used righteously, man. Okay. That animal would be would be happy to be have to have been a sacrifice. Okay. Yeah, there could be no large yeah. no slaughtering tanks where you take a whole cow, throw it in there, yeah, yeah. tail first, so it feels it the whole time. Oh you know, grind them up. Grind it up. Be tortured. Yeah, we gonna have a bunch of chickens in the damn dark. Feeding them M and M's and damn crunch bars. You know, whatever you could find. Okay, Esau runs this place like a, like a. I don't even know, man. Like a torture slaughterhouse. Like man. a psych house, psych, psych board, you feel me? Ain't gonna be no chemtrails. Oh man. I can't wait for that. You know, no more jets, no more planes in the skies. Man. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Get the fuck out the sky, man. Who is this guy? You know? Terror. Ter this is a terror dome. Terrorizing, man. Okay? It just rained, what, a few days? It cleaned the air up. The air was nice and clean. Every time the air gets nice and clean, this is what he do. Point it up there. Look up. Oh, yeah, right there. Time it rains and clear to clear up the skies, and the air smells somewhat clean. There he goes, but nobody knows who's doing it. Okay, no, we don't know. It's just it just happens. Okay, how much money does that cost? Okay, how much money does those chemicals cost? All right, that they use in all across the whole world. All right, the devil is doing it. But he's soon to be put out of power. Oh, this is uh, Revelation 19 and 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet yep. that, that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. Yep, all you that did receive his M-A-R-K, okay? You have been, you, you, will be deceived, or you have been deceived, because some of you probably got it right now. Go ahead. It says, and them that worshiped his image, these both were cast alive into the lake of fire. Cast alive. Alive. You're gonna be alive when this thing hits, okay? Go ahead. It says, they both were cast alive in a lake of fire with brimstone. Yep. Burning with brimstone. Burning with brimstone. Is it anymore? Uh, it says, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse 
which the sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with, with their flesh. Yep, so the Lord coming to do some damage too. All right? So there's no hope for this place except if you're part of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay? That's why it says what? Give diligence that thy calling and election be sure. All right? Because there's no other hope. You're done out here. You're going to be done out here. And rightfully so, all of you that come up against the word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, we're giving you the correct name. You still want to say Yahshua and Yahweh, okay, telling you that there were no E's, no, no O's, no U's, none of that madness, giving you the true names, backing it up, okay, with scriptures, all right, but you still want to continue on your way being stubborn stubborn and rebellious the lord gonna deal with you it's not for him bro exactly but he, he gonna deal with him okay this is the time to get dealt with but you you were the ones that said what let his blood be upon us and our children man so that prophecy is coming to pass all right you got something more? Yeah, go ahead. Good. It's back at Psalms chapter 7, verse uh, verse 12. It says, If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instrument of death, the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against his uh, persecutors. Yep. The arrows have already been ordained, man. Okay. Like the scripture said, they're gonna be shot from the ends of the earth, man. Yep. The Lord, the Lord has an army. Two hundred million. Okay. They're your boys. They're your boys right here. Okay. Took it on our identity. Alright? Walking around the earth as if they're they're <laughs> as if they're righteous, man. The wicked has taken up has taken up the taken the place of the righteous they've already been exposed yeah in new york those tunnels and that was just the one thing that got exposed who knows what else they're doing they ain't hearing about that no more yeah they know yeah they covered it up it's done we ain't hearing about it yeah but meanwhile the tunnels are still there and somewhere they're coming out of them like the rats they are Okay, like that dude came out, when he came out of that tunnel, boy, that was it for me. That was it for me. All the times we called them rats and stuff, that was it. That was that was yeah. the epitome of it, okay? How you coming out, you got a whole suit on, and you, come, you coming out a hole in the ground, okay? All right? Showing you that that's their natural habitat in caves, in holes, okay? You wouldn't catch a Jake coming out, got his clothes on, he coming out a damn hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah, Jake won't even sit on the sidewalk, man. Mm -mm. He got his fresh gear on. He ain't even sitting down on the ground, man. Exactly. That's 100%. <laughs> but that's that's the Lord lifting up the skirt on this devil, man. Okay? And the world has come to 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 be angry with them. Okay, that's why the scripture says all they all that bend the bow. Okay, shoot at her. Don't spare. Okay. That's why that lane gonna get nuked too. Exactly. Rats. Yeah, he gonna destroy all you rats and roaches over there. Okay. Guy coming up here asking us what we think about them over there in that land. That's not their, neither one of their lands, man. The Lord's gonna clean all of them off of that land. Okay? That land is too polluted for us to go back. Exactly. But he's gonna clean it up. Okay? Go ahead, bro. It says, Behold, he travaileth with iniquity 
and had conceived mischief and yep. brought forth falsehood. That's, that's evil E. This whole world is a falsehood, man. He said that he's the people of the Most High. But he never brings out anything the Most High say. He never uphold one law, statue, or commandment that the Most High created. Okay? Everything that the Most High say do, he goes against it, do the opposite. Go ahead. And they know it. Yeah, they do. They know that they're evil and that they're wicked. And they know it. They know they deal closely with Satan. They know it, man. And Wisdom of Solomon too, they admitted it. Even these average devils, they know. They know that they're wicked. That's they, why they commit they created a system that is just wicked, man. Yep. Yeah. And they know they're gonna have to pay too. They know it's judgment coming. Okay? That's why uh, uh, Revelation 16, I mean, Revelation 12 and 12, okay? He's coming down having great wrath because he knows his time is short. What happens after his time is up? He knows what what's going to happen, okay? He's not, he's not going to walk off in the sunset like they do on the movies, ride off in the sunset with the girl. He got the girl on the back. He got the gold in the side in the in the side packs, okay, and he riding off into the sunset to live a life a happy. What, how they say happily ever after? That's not gonna happen. He's going into slavery for a thousand brutal years, man. Okay, go ahead. Huh? It says he made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. Yep. You dig the pit, and you're going to be in that pit, okay? Yeah. And you're going to be in a literal pit, too, okay? Go ahead. Your own pit, like uh, Haman made his own gallows. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It says, his mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealings shall come down upon his own pate. Yeah. All your wickedness that you plan for us, okay, Margaret Sanger, that whole extermination thing, oh, we're, we're the worst people on the earth, okay? And, and uh, 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 this, this lady, this, this uh, small hat lady that got on the, the, the panel was talking about how the, the, the biggest threat to Israel was the so-called black men and the black youth of America. Okay? What the hell we ever did? Okay? For her to make such a statement. Okay? Where 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 is our where is our power to do anything against them? Where is the power to make us a threat to them? This is a threat. Where the true people of the Most High. Exactly. And they know that. They know that they're just nothing but imposters, man. Because if they can get us out of the way, you know, like Jacob said, the days of my father. Esau. I mean, Esau said it. The days of my father at hand, but. The day of mourning my father. The, the day of mourning my father. Okay? But after what, what, he, what he say he gonna do? He gonna slay his brother, man. But how's that possible to get rid of us? When, when we're like into onto the center of the sea and the stars of heaven, when you have Israelites that even look like these other nations, yeah. how's it possible to get rid of us? And they know that. That's why those they can't get rid of, they want them chip. They want the whole world fucking chip. Yeah. Just so they can get these people on the side, man. I ain't worried about you other nations. I don't care about y'all. Yeah. You're, you're the extras in this show. Other nations are down with it. They're down. Exactly. They've been down. Psalms 83. Yeah, man. Esau okay. promised them something. That's what it is. Yeah, but it's what it say, Obadiah, all that, all that hand of that confederacy have uh, made a wound under thee. Right. They you have know? deceived thee. You're being deceived, like 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 you think you're doing something to us. At the same time, you're being deceived. Right. Got proof, sir? 
to Isaiah 24, 21. It shall come to pass that, or it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high yep. and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and after many days shall they be visited. So like I said, man, these elites that are playing all this, all the high ones that are on high, I mean, the men of the Lord are going to gather all together and throw them in a pit that the hell was going into a while back. Yep. And they should be visited after many days. We're going to put them in there. And the men of the Lord are going to put them in there and they're going to leave them there, man, until they're ready for them. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be like being in those gallows. Okay. Being in those ships. Okay. Ooh, Stacked up on top of each other, pissing and defecating all over each other. Yeah. Women with period blood all on them, stinking like hell. You know, I'm sure they smelt the boat coming from miles away. Okay? I heard that when you get off a plane in India with the Elamites, <laughs> when you land on the tarmac, you can smell armpit. <laughs> yeah, that's just true, because uh, I used to clean pools in Elamite's Elam house. I never went inside the house, but I could smell everything because I was outside, you know? I yep. could smell everything from inside, you know, because they, they got some weird strength. Strong. I used to work for Elamite, and we used to have to, every morning, we used to have to go to another store in another city, and it was like 30 minutes, and it was the winter time, and we got the winters rolled up, and I'm like, you're not hot? <laughs> you're not hot? Like, no, I'm not hot. It's like, man, it's hot in here. I'm rolling around. around. We'll crack the window a little. Everybody, like, all right. I crack the window and put my hair like this, man, just to get a, a little air to my nose, man. Okay? So you know you smelt those slave ships coming. Okay? So it's going to be like that with you Edo's, man. Or worse. <laughs> or worse. Okay? It's not going to be anything nice. You're being a pit, man. Like hey, the Lord said to render to them what? Double. Double. Right. Double. So imagine all the atrocities you did to us and multiply that times two. Okay? Multiply it. Okay? Because you you were you were you were hell bent on doing the worst thing you could do to us. Okay? You sought out inventions. He didn't sleep. What's the say? What's scripture say? He don't sleep unless he calls some mission. Okay? So imagine getting getting double. All of you Edomites, man. All of you. None of you are innocent, man. You're gonna get double. Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I got some. Go ahead. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage yeah. and the people imagine a vain thing? What is vain? What is what is vain? You other nations getting together with Esau trying to create a new world order. That's vain. Haven't you learned what happened during the time of Babel? Babel and then during Nimrod's time? Right? How they build that tower of Babel and try to, you know, make everyone one? What the Lord did to them? Haven't you, haven't you read about what the Lord uh, did to Antiochus? Okay, how he tried to establish a new order and make everybody Greek? You eat them, I you're good at history, you're good at searching things out. You should know this, but what is blinding you is your pride, man. Okay? They ain't got no choice in the matter. Exactly. <laughs> it's written. Fine. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away the cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the, the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. 
ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. What does it say in Revelation 2 26? That if we endure to the end, the Lord's going to give us power over these nations. Okay, the ones that have came together and seek to destroy us, man. Okay, seek to establish their, their way on this world, man. Okay, the Lord is going to intervene. Okay, while they are eating, it says what? While they eat, the most side is going to rain the fear of his wrath upon them. Okay. So it's, it's no, it's, there's no hope for you. Your hope, what the scriptures say, your hope is going to be as of the giving up of the ghost. Your hope is going to be in death. Okay? You're just going to want to escape. All right? Those who have shown no mercy, no mercy shall be shown unto you. Okay? Lazarus. Okay? Just, hey, Lazarus, okay, man, can you just dip your finger, man. Just a, just a little, man. Just a little, man. Okay? Basically, have mercy. But nah, you didn't show no mercy. Exactly. Have mercy. And what do they do when we beg for mercy? They laughed at us. Okay? So the Lord is going to mock when your, when your terror comes to you. You're going to get laughed at. Yeah. All right? It's like in that movie, uh, Django Unchained. You know, we said, I like the way you beg, boy. Yep. You begging for mercy, not to harm this woman, you know? And he enjoyed the begging. Enjoyed it. What did uh what did Django say to him? Yeah. Said, I like the way you die, boy. I like yeah. the way you die, boy. I show you that he didn't forget that. Yep. He didn't forget exactly. that, that uh that moment. Yep. We, we didn't forget all the things that you did to us. Yep. You know, the Lord gonna give us stuff for hand on you, man. Yeah, you're gonna get got. Okay. Just because just because since it's against the evil work isn't executed speedily. Okay, you think that the Most High is down with you, okay, and he's going to continue to let you do your wickedness, okay? But it's not going to happen. There's a cutoff point for your wickedness and your rulership. There's a time, a bound set for you to rule in wickedness. This is not going on forever. You're acting like your house going is going to last forever, but it's not. Okay? Just like the, the, the rest of those empires fell from Egypt all the way down to Rome, this, this empire is going to fall as well. Okay? And after this time, it's not coming back to power. It's not going to be a Rome 2, what? A Rome 3.0. Okay? We're in Rome 2.0 now. It's not going to be a Rome 3.0 after a thousand years, then the, the, the Edomites are going to come back into power. Right. That ain't going to be a second, a third sequel, you know? Huh? That ain't going to be a third sequel. It's not. Stuff. Like they like to make these movies with three, yeah. three parts, a trilogy as they call it. You will have no trilogy. Okay? Yeah. Your trilogy is going to be in the grave. It's going to be that fire. Okay? That bonfire. Right. We're never going to go off again. The Lord is going to turn our stony heart into a heart of flesh, a fleshy heart. We're going to keep the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly. So there's not going to be a reason for the Most High to raise up another nation and put it in slavery again. Exactly. You know? Yep. That's the only reason you were raised up to be a sword against the Hebrew Israelites, man. The Lord's people, man. As a punishment, okay, for the Lord's people, man. And after that, your your uh, usefulness is done. We have no more use for you. Okay, because the, the, the Hebrew Israelites, they're going to be the police of the earth now. They're going to be the ones uh, patrolling for wickedness. Okay? Go ahead. Lamentations 4, 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yep that dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. 
the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, he will no, no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. You know, y'all out here concerned about what we doing. Out here monitoring our videos, taking our pages down, you know, because we bringing out the truth when you should be enjoying your kingdom, man. You're wasting your time. This is the only time you're gonna get. You're wasting it. Concerned about us and what we're doing. What are you doing? Yeah, because they want their time to be forever. That's why they're so concerned about us. Well, it's not gonna be forever, okay? Because the scripture just said to what? Rejoice and be glad because of what? The cup shall also pass unto you. Yeah. We're about to pass that cup of slavery to you, okay? Get Rev uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7 real quick. Hey, that cup gonna have two shots in there. Two, yeah, double, double shot. They'll give him a double shot at that 151. No, fuck it, give him 200. Give him that, that 200 proof. That's, that's no pure, chase. no chase, pure alcohol. 200 proof, okay? Pure, 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 no chaser. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be able to pick it up and sip it. No, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in your oh, fucking mouth. Hey, up. just like they, used, they, like they used to do to us, break out our teeth, right? Pop, 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 break your teeth out, put a funnel down your mouth and funnel it, funnel it to you, okay? You're gonna drink. You're going to drink it down. Okay? Get that one. He shall surely drink. He just read it, he just read it huh? Oh, no, that's oh. Jeremiah. Yeah, they're oh, going to drink down. He said down. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, though. That, that one's first. There's uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. All the curses that's listed up in Deuteronomy 28, chapter and the other ones that's listed any any other place in the scripture, okay? Those curses are going to be put on you other nations, man. Okay, you walk around here proud against your your creators, man. Okay, you walking around here proud against the people of the Most High's eye. Okay, proud as if nothing would ever happen to you. You're delusional. Go ahead. It says, The Lord will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Exactly. All of, all of you people that has persecuted us, the Lord is about to put that curse on you, man. How you see us cursed across the whole earth, everywhere we go, we're cursed. The Lord is going to do that to you, okay? That's it. Man, and Esau don't have to deal with the plagues. The scripture says, whoever take from the word or add the plagues of these Bibles. Oh, yeah. So he's going to have to deal with all the plagues, man. Okay? Because he took away from the word of the Most High, man. He's slave Bibles. Exactly. He added to the word of the Lord. Okay? Jeremiah 49 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup yep. have assuredly drunken. Yeah, we drank of the cup of slavery in a way that we wasn't supposed to drink of it like that. Man. Okay. Go ahead. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? So you think that the Lord is going to punish his people and not punish you? And not punish you? Or it's the same brood without chastising us trusting in our enemies about 10 oh, times more. What's it with Solomon? Oh, okay. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. Thousand. Okay, we'll get that after this then. It says, Art thou he shall, Art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shall not go unpunished. Woo, what? Thou shall not go unpunished. Thou shall not go unpunished. This is the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. He's telling you that you're going to be punished, man. Okay? Like he punished us. Okay? And you see the you see the 
the, the wrath of the Most High on us and how terrible of a, of, of a situation we're in. And he used uh, Edom to do it. Exactly. So the Lord going to use us to do it to you. Mm. Get that. Uh, Sorry, Ezekiel. Sorry, that time. You talking about Ezekiel 25? Yeah, Ezekiel 25. Okay. I got that wisdom solid. Okay. Is but, that, that thing? but thou shalt surely drink of it. You gonna you gonna drink it? You say you gonna swallow it, swallow it down? Really? Yeah. Uh, that ain't that one, huh? But uh, there's another one. Uh, okay. Yeah, you gonna drink the dregs? Okay, you gonna drink the bitter, bitter? Okay. You think this is America. No, it's going to be another America. <laughs> it's going to be another America for you. Oh, America. Yes, it's going to be America for you. Okay, very bitter. Okay, 200 proof bitter. All right, fire grit bitter. Okay. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 22. Therefore, whereas thou dost chasten, chasten us, Thou scourges our enemies a thousand times more to the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. Exactly. We should look for mercy. We look for the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But you other nations, especially, especially you Edomites, man, you're not, you're not receiving any mercy, man, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You show no mercy, you're proud. Okay? You're proud in the fact that you don't have to show mercy. Okay? That the Lord gave you the earth, gave you dominion, gave you the, the power to rule over his people and do whatever you want to do to them. And you didn't show no mercy. So no mercy is going to be shown to you. Okay? So Ezekiel 25, 14. Yep. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom yep. by the hand of my people Israel. Mm -hmm. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. Exactly. So the Lord is going to use his people, Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to put his hands on you so-called white people, okay, you Edomites, Esau, all right? And he's going to show his fury, his wrath, his vengeance on how, how mad he is. We don't have enough ammo of madness because we don't remember all the treacherous, terrible things he's done to us. We're too compassionate. Exactly. We're too compassionate. Okay? But the Lord, he's going to put that spirit on us, his spirit. He will give us power to execute. Woo! Okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna be rough out here for you Edomites, man. Okay. So with that, another week. All right. Closer to the the ending of this kingdom and the coming forth of the nation of Israel, man. All right. Stay strong. Stay prayed up. Stay in the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, and with that, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, salutations and peace. Father Akim out here pushing his word. Till the next time, we want to say Shalom.